I have you covered, Lindsay. Can you hear me okay? How are you? Hi, Kama, how are you? The pregnant woman can eat all she wants, okay? <laughs> Hi, Kama, nice to see you, Lindsay. I hope you're having a good day. Welcome on in. Hello, hello, hello. And thank you. It's not a bad kitchen. Sounds great. Yay, Princess, right? Hi. How you doing, Red Fart? Thank you, Katara. How you guys doing? Now you guys get to see it like in real life, right? What do you think? Um, after we eventually get started with the, um, uh, when we save up to do a little remodeling, I can imagine teal cabinets, gold pull, brass poles everywhere. Hi, Scobrin! How are you? Right? Oh, oh, Scobrin, I'm even wearing Twitch socks today. It was in my, uh, what the heck was it called? Um, like my Christmas gift from Twitch. Hi, Skyla Pup! Clarissa, welcome on in. Thank you. I'm really tempted to like paint the grout orange because hi. <laughs> hi. <laughs> Thank you, Scobrin. How's everyone's Tuesday? Nice to see you. Going to get a little bit of wetness on this paper towel here. Can feel a little bit of something on my cooking surface here. Give it some time to dry. Hello. Um, I'm really nervous. I have never made like successful bread things before. Um, so this is going to be interesting. Vivian, hi! Oh my god. Hi everyone. Looking forward to watching this fun stream. Hey! Vivian, thank you so much for the six months. Oh my god, you're amazing. Thank you for being a beautiful part of our community. Thank you for your support. How you doing today? What's going on? Ooh, pancakes earlier. Ooh, baked pancakes. Oh, and you you love the wind over the sink. Nice. Like, a lot of these older houses have that kind of thing. To me, it's like, I grew up in a house with that. Um, To me, it's like the standard almost. <laughs> How do you bake pancakes? Oh, Scobrin, you're sick today. Uh, so then better. I'm so sorry that you're feeling sick. I am okay. Still, you know, plugged up and draining and all that kind of stuff. So I got my cough, but not worse on my antibiotics now. So that's a huge plus. Hi, Milo. Welcome on in. It's so good to see you. What's happening? Hi, Kenora. What's going on? Nice to see ya. Oops, I forgot to take out the trash earlier. It's a little full. My bad. Um, Oh, you're not used to the Discord, so I've just been waiting. Ah, hi. <laughs> hi, pup. How you doing? Kenora, thank you. Hi, Roka. Good afternoon. I live in a stupid cookie cutter house. If I had a window, I could see my neighbor. Oh, right. There are tons of those here. But they were like the Sears Roebuck homes, you know, like the catalog homes. They're all over down here from like the 1910s, 1920s. Oh, you're organizing a craft room. I can't wait to keep you company. Hi, Beto. Hi. Welcome on in. I'm so glad to see you. Right? I know, Skullbrin, I'm on Sudafed, Flonase, and I have some antibiotics I've been taking. So I saw this at the store earlier, and it's actually really good. Peach mint. It's uh, a probiotic, so I'm like, sign me up for that stuff. Can take that and eat it or drink it or whatever. It's really good. Honestly, it'd make a good mixer. Is it, is it weird of me to say that? Hi, Dawn. What's going on? Welcome on in. Thank you. Thank you. <sighs> Humtress, it's good to see you. Hi, Madison. Welcome on in. So we're going to be eventually, you know, after we save up to do some more remodeling and everything. Um, You guys can't see it right here, but we're going to take a peninsula and it's pretty much going to shoot out like right where this is, except this is angled. The other one will be straight. There'll be like a peninsula, so it's like an island with cabinets on one side. Sticking off of the wall. Hi, Ray. Welcome on in. How you doing today? Simsy, welcome on back. Good to see you again. How are you? Milo, and thank you. I can't wait. I'm pretty excited. I don't know about you guys. Hi, Lish. How are you? No longer have a BB.mu objects. Oh, my God. I don't. Oh, my God. That was at my studio. And that was like one of the most cursed things, honestly. It was horrible. 
I hated it. So like in my little studio apartment, um, I had like a standard size shower and it wasn't even like an accessibility thing. Um, the faucet in the, in the tub was off center by like four or five inches towards the, towards like the, the, um, the outside of the tub. Like, I don't know. Yeah, no, exactly right. Exa no. <laughs> oh, you just chipped a tooth. What the heck? I'm so sorry about that. That's no fun. Oh my gosh. Are you able to get into like a dentist or something somewhere? I am so sorry. Sunshine. Hi, I'm getting married Friday. Oh my God. Ah, look at you. You're getting married on Friday. I am so excited for you. Congratulations. I hope the, is it like outside? What's the details? What you got? That is very exciting. I'm opening links over here to my recipes. Pretzel hype. Woo! Lindsay, thank you so much for the 100 biddies. I appreciate you. Thank you for that. <clears throat> Sounds easier to reach me next to my back, right? Right? Well, the thing is, it wasn't even like, it, was, it wasn't even the, like the turn on faucet thing. It was like just the spout, you know? It was horrible. And then the shower had was like centered as well. So like the, um, yeah, so just like the spout, it was a, like not the whole thing was off center. It was just like the, the spout. That's it. It was horrible. What are you doing? Oh my God. Oh, I was going to flap my arms and like fly or something. <laughs> um, speaking of dentists, I got my big boy job as a dental assistant. Woo! Milo, look at you. I'm so proud of you. That's amazing. Lady Dragon, welcome on in. Deviant, you said you got your first tattoo about a week ago. It's a dancing skeleton, and my best friend got a matching one with me. That is awesome. Look at you. Hi, Kemma. Oh, Pansy. Hi. <laughs> hey, besties. I'm still cackling over very important beans, chat. <laughs> I think that you described it perfectly, though. Hi, street rat. Welcome on in. I hope you had a good day at work. Pansy, thank you for the 28 months at Tier 2. You're amazing. Thank you for your support. Welcome on in. <laughs> but yeah, that's, yeah. The VIB chat's pretty fun. <laughs> oh, a church wedding on Friday and a reception on Saturday. Oh, that's going to be nice, Simsy. I'm so excited. What kind of colors did you pick? Oh, a statistics exam tomorrow morning, and I'm 90% sure I'm going to fail it. Oh, sending all my good vibes, Madison. I'm so sorry. I'm doing pretty good, Ray. How are you? Good to see you. If anyone gives a chance at VIB, it sure is a trip. It can be sometimes. Some weeks are like more cursed than others, right? Miss uh, keyboard in the corner, right? <laughs> um, I just have it right here. This is going to be my cooking surface, and I was just uh, getting my booty started um and typing some things before we began but that's about it nothing super crazy cornflower blue dusty pink and burgundy those are such pretty colors i really like that that's awesome <sighs> i'm so excited for you look at you oh my office camera on oh you're like what how is she in two places at once how is she doing that <laughs> Oh, yeah, I'm doing good today. I am scared. I've never really done things with bread before. So we have things with yeast. And the last time I made dinner rolls, they did not rise at all. So I don't think I like needed it enough. Chaos baking, right? Oh my God, we love learning things together. So if you guys want, um, this is the recipe that I'm doing right here. Right. Baking is so fun. And if time, if like we finish these pretty early or whatever, then we will be doing um, a little bit of cookies too, like some, just some peanut butter cookies. If there's like time, you know, that's not too late. I know French baked bread. I know it's top tier. I'm so excited. DVM it smells so good in here. If you mess up the results, I still love you. It's okay. <laughs> I feel that every bread I've tried, if you win, congrats, you lose at the least. You're, um, you're in your good company. Exactly. Right? Like I can bake cakes, uh, cookies, uh, pies, all sorts of that stuff, but I am too afraid of bread. I can make like a homemade pie crust, like no tomorrow. Bread, miss me with that stuff though. 
some super good bread. Ooh, I'm going to be looking to you guys for a little bit of guidance, though. Hi, Michelle. Really good to see you. How you doing today? Welcome on in. Um, But this recipe, oh, my God. Ah, I'm so scared. I guess we should just, I'm going to wash my hands. But um, can you guys hear me okay still? I don't know how the distance is on this. My kitchen is also laid out significantly different from where I was in my apartment that you guys got to see. Y'all, that was pretty fun. Also, I found these really, really cute towels, and I'm kind of obsessed with them. I think they're so fun. Hi, Grandma! Choo-choo. Oh, Ray, thank you for the 131 biddies. <laughs> um, ask him to help you. Who to help me? Who pup? Hi, pup. I know it's really cute. We found it. I think it was like TJ Maxx or something. I also have oven mitts that you guys will see after a little while with those two, but they're so freaking cute. Hi, but thank you for the hype train. Look so official. I know, right? I feel like a talk show host kind of thing. Very springy. I know. You know, right? I love it. I love yellow. I love flowers. Sound good, very good walk away. Okay, I wasn't sure if it was like got crackly or, you know, like it sounded like I was going out of service kind of thing. Like I'm too far from the receiver. Shay, I miss you, Shayla. How are you? I hope this school is going well. I hope you're taking care of yourself. Most importantly, we'll always save a seat for you. You know, we always will. Welcome on over. <clears throat> so I need yeast salt brown sugar i got a whole new thing i want to get like one of those brown sugar pucks though so i need one of those so i'm pulling out all my ingredients getting these already ray thank you for that lurk so we need dry yeast salt brown sugar unsalted butter which i have this here i've been bringing it up to room temperature because it's just easier to like cut and work with and everything um, all purpose flour. So I need three and three quarter or to four cups. Plus more for hands and for work surface. Okay. I don't know how much is in here. But I have like a whole bag of it right here. Okay. I was just a little bit like plus a bag. The vet visit go today. Good. Um, they, they didn't find any like worms in their, uh, in their samples, but I think we caught it super early and sometimes it's like super hard to detect, but they're both doing really good. Healthy babies. We got them on some medicine, but it went really good. They, they are, and we got Kyber microchipped though. Um, so salt. So this coarse salt, I think this is going to be like more of a finisher though. Um, and then the baking soda and then like the water will be for later, but I have this over here. <coughs> I could tell you anything that I had said. <laughs> I love it. I loves it. Let's see. What do we got? So it says whisk the yeast into warm water. This, I feel like I'm going to kill it on accident. Um, allow to sit for one minute. Whisk in salt, brown sugar, and melted butter. So what I'm going to do, because it makes me feel better. I am going to pre-measure everything and put them into little cups. Because I feel like making a bunch of dishes. Honestly. I think that sounds like so much fun. <laughs> um, ah, the kitty ran by right there. I swear. Hi, Shorty. Welcome on in. How are you? I swear to God, they're, they are going to. I know as many. I have that. I have a dishwasher. So, you know, we're good. Oh, there's Kibber. <laughs> My phone's over here. So he's like, what are you doing? What is this? Um, <laughs> move this here. <laughs> Every dish in the house. Exactly. It's not baking if you don't do that. Um, so I'm going to, it says yeast into warm water, allow to sit for one minute, whisk in salt, brown sugar, and melted butter. Okay, so I'm just going to start measuring all my stuff. So salt. So I need one teaspoon of salt. I don't know how much this is going to make, <clears throat> but we are going to do uh, just a single recipe here. Oh, state testing, right? You hate, but you like love it at the same time. I'm with you. <clears throat> um, teaspoon salt. This is teaspoon right here. I feel like it was a little bit much, so I'm just going to go over here because it kind of came out like in a, there we go. Just a 
just a little too much, so that's not good. I don't want too much there. Oh, you get to miss, oh, you get to miss some of your classes so you actually like it. I can see that, right? Right, I'm glad that I no longer have to deal with like state testing though. I have really bad test anxiety. Brown sugar. So I need one tablespoon of brown sugar. I need one of those like brown sugar puck things, you know? Um, Cause like we had like half of a bag of brown sugar. It sat outside, not outside, but like in um, an uncontrolled environment for like a month when we were moving, uh, staying at like Michael's parents. And um, it like dried up. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> So it was like hard as a rock, so I had to get, go and get like a whole new bag um, of it today, but that's okay. I'm planning on making chocolate chip cookies. I don't know if we'll do that today. Maybe, maybe not. I think I have all the things in the house for it, but maybe I'll have to make a batch of chocolate chip cookies or start it. I won't be able to bake them off today, but maybe I'll just make the batter or the dough today if we have time. I'm brown sugar. I'm going to go ahead and just slicey, slicey, open it right up. So then it said one teaspoon of salt, one tablespoon of brown sugar. Marshmallows. Ooh, marshmallows. Wait, that's a big brain idea. I actually don't think that I have marshmallows in the house right now. I think Michael ate them. So here's one tablespoon brown sugar. I'm just going to plop it right in there. But I'm going to like close this to the best of my ability. And then I am actually going to go get a gallon bag. I forgot to take out the trash earlier. Oops, it's a little full. Ignore that. Don't look at, don't, do not perceive, please. Do not perceive that. I'm in my pantry, guys. Can you hear me? I can't like see anything. <gasps> I need to put gallon bags on the, on the list. I forgot about that. I'm going to do that really quick. Gallon. Ziploc. Gallon. Ziploc. There we go. Perfect. <coughs> weird that I think tomorrow is going to be weird because most everyone in my grade thinks the math tutor is hot. I don't think he is, though. I have an accent. Only like that about him. Everything else is like, what the heck? Aw. <laughs> I mean, everyone's allowed to have a type, I suppose, right? Everyone's allowed. I get that. Uh, ask for Michael to help you. Michael doesn't really, he's not a part of the stream today. Sometimes he helps, but he should be okay. He actually um, is working on some things in the living room today is what he is doing. But every once in a while he helps. I don't know why I walked that way. I'm just going places, y'all. Just going places. Um, brown sugar and melted butter. And it says slowly add three cups of flour, one cup at a time. Hmm. I wonder if this will fit. We will figure it out, guys. Pre-measuring everything. I have a very big, like, love-hate relationship with these drawers. Um, we need to, like, beeswax them for sure. Or put them on sliders. Honey bread today? Oh, honey bread. That sounds really good, Taylor. I can't say that I've had honey bread, to my knowledge. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Also, Shayla, um, we do ask that if people are under the age of 18, they don't, just for your safety, don't talk about age or allude to that, please. Um, unsalted butter. Says whisk in salt, brown sugar, and melted butter. Allow or slowly add three cups of flour, one cup at a time. I think I'm going to need a bigger bowl, though. I think that's probably a good idea. Better to have slightly larger than, like, just slightly too small. I'm going to upgrade this one a little bit. <clears throat> Here we go. Yeah. See? I'm glad that I grabbed this. Ha <laughs> Hi, Cassie! Welcome on in! 31 months. I sure love hanging out with you, you glorious bean. You are a glorious bean. Thank you so much, Cassie! 
I really appreciate you. Thank you for being a beautiful friend and amazing human. You're so inspiring. You have no idea. Thank you for being so sweet. And honestly, I want to be like Cassie when I grow up, you guys. I really do. Um, hi, Coconut. How are you? What's going on? Welcome on in. I hope you're having a good day. Thanks so much for stopping by. Oh, I love like squeezing flour in the bag. It's super satisfying. You can just like see it. Mm. I'm doing a little bit of pre-measuring so then I can just like dump things. It helps me when I'm like, <laughs> I'm not super great at like baking or like the most efficient, but like I'm, I'm pretty good at it. I think my baked goods taste okay. Michael seems to like them. I would not highly recommend adulting like me, but I have fun. I mean, that's all you can ask for, though. It's just having fun, right? Love my new kitchen. Thank you. I'm pretty excited about it. I cannot wait to paint the cabinets teal. You got this for the bread making. Hi, Nightstar. I love you. How you feeling, baby? What's going on? I hope you're feeling okay. I should just dump it into here, but I do things complicated, okay? This is one cup. You know, I've never made something like this before. A little better. I'm glad. Did you get some Pepto? Hi, Santa. Doing dining hall at pretzels today. And I'm very happy. <gasps> you get to be like me today. Hi, Sky. How are you? Right? Like a really nice, <coughs> excuse me, like a moody teal color. That makes me really happy. I get to break up like that flower chunk. So that was one cup. And then it says three cups of flour. So I'm just going to go ahead and do myself a favor and go like this. Also, why do flour, like why do bags of flour get everywhere? Like they always leak. I mean, I know why, because they're like paper bags and like the flour gets all caught in the folds and stuff, but it's still infuriating. <clears throat> oh, California. No worry, Taylor. Taylor. So basically, I'm thinking we um, are going to maybe make like gluten free peanut butter cookies. And like, so I'll be able to do those start to finish today. But um, um, if time allows and if I have everything in the house, I think I'm also going to start the batter for um, chocolate chip cookies. Um, cause that has to chill for like 12 hours or 24 hours or something. Um, <clears throat> oh, right. Like why exactly? Scovern is why your mom has to put them in Tupperware, right? I know you'd think that they would like eventually make a better like packaging for flour. So we kind of been doing it for a long time, you know, just a little bit. I know, right? I'm so excited. Ah, so there's also a, because uh, we live in the Quad Cities now, right? There's also a, um, how do I want to say? A mustard dip. A local recipe for a mustard dip that I will be making today. Um, to go with said pretzels. So, well, that is very exciting. There's like a little something not a bug, just a, just a something. Not a bug, at least. Yeah, no bug. Just a little speck of something other. There we go. Um, it's flavor, right? <laughs> it's flavor, it is. Thank you, Lace. I'm so glad. Thank you so much. You know, the guys who remodeled it did a pretty good job. Oh, you put yours in half gallon jars. Lace, that's big brain. See, like I have this canister, but it's enough to hold like a three pound bag of flour or something like that. Um, this, this bag that I have right here is just a little bit too big. Shayla, thank you so much for coming in. I hope you have a, a good rest of your day. So we have that. Um, Okay, so it says whisk the yeast into warm water. Okay, so we have the salt, brown sugar, and melted butter. So I don't have the melted butter yet, but I do have the salt and brown sugar right here. 
uh, pantry moss ones. Now everything goes in jars. Oh, that's the worst, right? Just having things in airtight containers is so nice sometimes. Dream! Hi! <laughs> What's going on? Thank you for what? Monthly check-in. Hope all is well with you, Zef. I am heart. doing really well. Thank you so much, Dream, for 37 months. I really appreciate you. Welcome, welcome, welcome back. Thank you. I hope you're doing well. Happy spring. Good to see you. It's almost May. Uh, the best thing about organizing is finding so, stuff so. I forgot I had, right? Yes. Also, Winter Queen, how the heck are you? Welcome to the Bean Garden. Thank you, Dream, for your support. That's so nice of you. Um, finding stuff I forgot I had. Unpacking a box that's been sitting in since we moved from Japan. <gasps> right? And you're like, oh my god! It's exciting. I felt that way even after like a month of having our things like in boxes, you know, when we were with Michael's parents. And it definitely helps on the bot when the when the jars are cute. You are so right, Lace. <coughs> right? I always try to uh, try to remember. I'm so bad at it sometimes. This is three cups of flour, one teaspoon of salt, one tablespoon of brown sugar. I'm pre-measuring everything and going slow because I don't want to mess it up. Um, this is the recipe I'm looking at, by the way. Sally's baking addiction is literally amazing, <gasps> right? I've never done anything with bread before. Well, I mean, I've done it like once or twice and I've messed it up each time. Um, yeast does not like me. Um, <laughs> so I am super nervous about it. Uh, the fancy drink. I actually picked up a probiotic drink. Um, it's Chobani probiotic. It's their peach mint. Um, cause I'm on antibiotics due to my like ear and like my congestion and everything right now. Mm. Oh my God. You just registered so, so. Felix for kindergarten. He needs to stop right now. MMSA, how the heck are you? Welcome to the Bean Garden Bubble. Welcome back. How are you? So glad to see you. So, oh, I'm so scared. Uh, three cups of flour, one cup at a time. Oh man, I can't read instructions. Mix with a wooden spoon until dough is thick. I do have bamboo spoon. Wait, wait, let me bamboozle ya. I do have a wooden spoon. This is a normal wooden spoon. My whole heart. I can't believe he's going to be a whole heckin' kindergartner. That's ridiculous. Cooking stream? Yes, we're making soft pretzels today. Um, I have a feeling I'm going to mess these up. <laughs> but it's okay. We like trying new things. We just want to try making them. This, like, lace. This, uh, this recipe, if you see it, is actually really easy looking. I'm like, oh, I can try that. You're not even big yet. He's not even big yet. But soon, I think Felix is at least going to be this tall. What do you think? You can't even see off the camera. That's how tall Felix is going to be. Honestly, with like how you described your brothers, I wouldn't be surprised, Cassie. <laughs> um, mix with a wooden spoon. Add three quarter cup more flour until the dough is no longer sticky. I'm so scared. I'm doing this all botched and weird. But I'm just nervous all the time oh inspiring you to be productive do it bake along with me and maybe some cookies do you have peanut butter do you have an egg and do you have one cup of sugar because i got a recipe for you if you want to make peanut butter cookies um it's up in my brain i do uh one cup peanut butter one egg one cup sugar Blend them together. Take a tablespoon. Ball it up. Crisscross with a fork. Bake for nine minutes on a parchment paper. Um, parchment paper lined cookie sheet. Um, at 350. No longer. Let them cool completely on the sheet. They will not look like they're cooked. But it's enough to cook the egg. Because they won't look brown. Um, trust it. Trust the nine minutes and you're done it's so good so good that's i'm gonna be making those a little later tonight so this is the three quarter cup thing of sugar i didn't like sift that one because my bowl is too tiny it's so good they're gluten-free too they are the best peanut butter cookies you will make and they're a little bit soft like that's why you, you really don't want to cook them beyond that eight to nine minutes 
Um, you might want to try pulling them out at eight minutes and see how you like them, let them cool and then figure it out and then try a nine if they're not, they're a little bit too loose after a couple of minutes of cooling, but yeah, they're good. They're the ones I grew up with and it's in my brain forever now. So we have add three quarters cut more flour until the dough is no longer sticky. If it is still sticky, add more, which will go there. Willa! Twenty months? That's crazy. Willa, thank you so much for twenty months. That is ridiculous. Thank you so much, and thank you for using the Bezos bucks here. We appreciate you. How you doing today? Um. Poke the dough with your finger. If it bounces back, it's ready to knead. <laughs> okay, I'm so scared. Okay, so it says whisk the yeast into warm water and let allow to sit for one minute. Uh, I'm okay. We just got to do it, you guys. I have two packets of yeast, so I messed this up. We get to try it again. Because they come in like things of two, apparently. So that's what we got. So salt, brown sugar, slowly add three cups of flour, one cup at a time. I'm just going to estimate that part because we have like it all pre-measured. Or maybe I'll just straight up just like plop it in. We'll see. I know I need, I'm, I'm going to order a Tammy apron like ASAP. There's dust or like flour on top of my camera. But I'm going to order the Tammy apron because I have like a boring, just like normal food service apron that I definitely didn't take from like three jobs ago. Definitely didn't um, accidentally find it in my trunk. It's fine. Just like your basic food service apron. <laughs> Thank you, Misty. Imagine, wouldn't these cabinets be really cute when we when we save up to do a little bit of a remodel? Aren't they going to be cute? Because the cabinets are going to be a dark teal. The poles are all going to be brass or like, uh, yeah, brass poles, like a golden brass. And then, um, I don't know what colors I'm going to paint the walls, but I'm so excited. <coughs> right? Um, and then uh, hexagon, like white hexagon with brass, like outline um, for the backsplash and concrete countertops because it's cheap. Cheap and we can do it ourselves. We love that. It's going to be so cute. Oh, also, by the way. Here's my spice rack thing right there. I thought that was pretty cool. Here's the non-magnetic fridge, the one that I raged about for a while. <laughs> I was very excited. Okay. Um, let's these into warm water. So we have the one and one half cups warm water. It says lukewarm. So this, uh, I, I think if you do this too hot, then it'll kill the yeast. I think. Ugh. I have to be tall, tall energy. Okay, got it. Baking good. Wait, oh, looking good. Oh. <laughs> Tipsy toe reach, right? And I am tall as well. We have so many cabinets in here. They're so high up. Like, who's going to use those? Like, I'm five foot ten. A drawer for spices, but it works. It's not cute. Oh, these ones were at Ikea for like, I don't know how much, but if you look at a spice rack at Ikea, they're super, they're super good. And they're made out of Aspen wood, I guess, because I looked it up. I was curious. And they're just plain wood. So you can like paint them, stain them, seal them, whatever you want to do. Like, I'm going to decide what we're going to do because I think I want to, we were, we looked into sanding this brick down so we could have like the natural brick look, but I'm probably going to end up doing... Uh, like the fake sheets, this like tile that looks like brick, probably just going to do that instead because it'll be a lot less horrible to try to sand that and try to get it to look decent because it's really uneven because it's old, but yeah, I don't know if I want to stain them or paint them like a different color against that, but I guess we'll find out because I don't want it white. I want something like an accent piece <laughs> one day. Okay, warm water. I have my water warming up. It takes a second for our faucet, actually. So one and a half cups of water. I think this one. We have one of these cups that doesn't have a half on it, and it feels like a crime. This one. This one does. I think this is vintage Pyrex. It's all beat to crap. Okay, that is hot water. 
that actually got warmer than I thought. Okay. This, I feel like I always kill the yeast because it's like too warm. You know, you need to take care of your yeasty babies. The little babies. The yeasty boys too soon. Uh, bright pastel yellow. <gasps> that would be really cute. I was thinking of like a nice orange color too, but uh, you know, yellow would be adorable. Almost like bright. I don't want it to be super bright or anything. Because I want the rest of the house to not like punch you in the face with too much color. Wait, is this two and a half or one and a half cups of water? I'm so scared, you guys. I'm so distracted. Uh, one and a half cups. Okay. One and a half cups of water. I do miss having my sink right next to the camera so I can see you guys. But it's okay. You guys can look at me from here. <sighs> okay. Just making sure it's not too hot. Just a little bit less and I think we'll be good. Shoop. There we go. That's like perfect. Okay. Good. Save because she's cooking, right? I know. I wish I could save progress at this point right now. I really wish that I could. <gasps> Ooh, by the way, I found um, these whisks. I got really excited. They are rainbowy. I'm actually a sim, yes. My cooking level would be at least like level two by now. Love the backsplash. Thank you, Bubbles. Right? I think we I think we found them at like TJ Maxx. There's a set of two of them for like four bucks. But the rainbow and I must have. I do need a plum bob, don't I? <laughs> Whisk the yeast into warm water. Allow to sit for one minute. Okay. We need to wake up our yeasty boys here. Look at it. Yeast looks so, like, uneasy. Like, ugh. Hello. It looks, like, gross. They're tiny little granules. And I don't like it. And it makes me feel really uneasy. I do not like it one bit. <laughs> Um, some days I'm a level 10 and others I'm level two, honestly though, right? M cooking might almost be level two. Haven't set off the smoke alarms off in a while, right? It's not an oven timer. Contrary to popular belief. Mmm, smells like medicine. <laughs> Thank you, Justin. How are you? What's going on? I'm being really gentle with this right now. Okay. Now we have the yeasty boys um, all up in there, getting all woken up and everything. <coughs> Thank you, Justin. I'm so glad you like it. I know they woke a F in here. Mmm, super woke. Salt, brown sugar, and melted butter. I'm scared. I'm gonna mess this up. I, I should stop saying that. I'm gonna kill it. I'm gonna do so good. Yeah. Look at the bubbling. I know. Movable island can work. I do have that right now. If you look on Twitter, uh, there's, we have like a movable island thingy. They're waking up. So this apparently is like a super easy um, recipe, by the way. It's on Sally's Baking Addiction. I think I still have it copied. It said for like one minute. I think I'm good. 
You think I'm okay? Oop, hold on, I gotta send it. Here we go. Lurk and five, will you cook? Need to finish cleaning this room. Go, Misty! I'm cheering you on, seriously. Okay. Whisk in salt, brown sugar, and melted butter. Oh no! My butter! Ah! It's okay. It's only like a tablespoon. See, the Yeezys have a little bit longer to like wake up now. It's fine. One tablespoon of unsalted butter. Okay, this is unsalted. Melted and slightly cool. So it doesn't like scorch my stuff. It's fine. I just missed a step. We're good. It's okay. It's fine. Don't panic. <gasps> email you some pre email you some pretzels. Yes, ghost, let's go. You guys can't see me over here, but um I have my little microwave over here. Tablespoon of butter. Wee! This melts super quick. So I'm just going to stir it up just a little bit in here. And then hit it for like another 5 or 10 seconds or something. Because this microwave is actually pretty solid. So... Love that stove. Thank you. Came with the house. It's a Samsung. I don't know what it is, like, but it's not bad. It's pretty awesome. It does this pretty well. It's a gas one. I haven't had a gas stove in years, honestly. I really have it. It's just melted butter. It's just slightly cooled. It's a little bit warm, but not super warm. So we'll just let it sit for a little bit. Microwave over the stove. Yes, I really like it. I don't like countertop ones that much. In our last apartment, we had, um, it was like a little nook where it could like a, where it could sit in it. Um, and then my studio had like a glass top stove. Um, and like uh a standard it was like a standard like whirlpool three-piece set thing that they have that but it came with like a glass top stove um the microwave that was right above it and then like your freezer above like thing um uh fridge i know seriously kitchen ain't big enough right do you have like a rolly cart where you can do that but i remember there was like a little apartment that i used to live in years ago that had um, we put the microwave on top of the fridge because there was no room anywhere. It was awful. Okay, so this says whisk in salt, brown sugar, and melted butter. So this melted butter actually feels like pretty good. So I'm going to do that. And we're just going to go ahead and add those guys in. And we're going to hopefully make this yeast really happy. Sorry I gave my yeast a bath a little bit too long, but it's okay. Hopefully that didn't like do me funnel cakes i don't i don't but i think it'd probably be pretty easy hi meg how are you in the dining room right i've seen that before too some people have it like on a buffet thing you know almost like a china cabinet thing um a lot of sit for one minute with salt, brown sugar and melted butter so we have that in there oh my god i'm so scared okay um slowly add in three cups of flour one cup at a time so just mix with a wooden spoon until dough is thick. So, okay. This is apparently what I got to do. So just mix with a wooden spoon. My daughter can make them, but they always come up pancake shaped. Aww. <laughs> Your dough might be like a little thicker, right? Probably. Hi, Meg. Welcome on in. Should I try to like whisk this in? I don't know. Okay. I think that's going to be better. Otherwise, I'm going to get clumps. I think I have to mix it like as it gets thicker, maybe. But that was not going very well for me. Oh, my God. It's smelling like bread. Oh, my God. Imagine that. <coughs> Look at you, ghost. That's exciting. It's so scary. It is. 
Got home from the chiropractor. Ooh, uh, looking forward to the stream all day. Aw, hi, Meg. Thank you. I love your guys' cozy vibes, though. Thank you for hanging out with me and supporting and doing these fun streams with me and everything and allowing me to do this. Thank you all. This just feels better than just dumping it and then doing the spoon. I don't know why. I'm being pretty gentle with my whisk, though. Whiskey business. I just realized that I was using the three quarter cup and I was getting really scared. Like, why does this look like more than three cups? Because it is. Zeph is a big brain. See, look, I'm using one cup now. Big brain, but it's okay. It just wanted me to like progressively add in. Um, the flour in like small batches and stuff. Here we go. Now we're getting to the point where I can start using the spoon, I think. My mic volume is down the low, so I gotta figure that out, right? You know, those those sound issues are rough. Uh look like Suki from Gilmore Girls. Oh, I don't know who that is, but I'll take that as a compliment. I think. Daughter can make them, but they always God, I want funnel cakes now. You know, my mom is this recipe. It's like she they call it uh Indian fry bread. I don't know, but it looked amazing. She learned it from my grandma, her mom. And I want to try making that with like some sort of soup. Okay, I'm just going to go for it, you guys. I'm going to dump the rest of this flour in because it was just about good right there. So it said, mix until dough is thick. Are any of you guys like that are bread pros like... Should I be more aggressive with this, like mixing it? Because I'm like, I'm so used to making pastries and like pie crusts and like being really gentle with it, you know, because you don't want your like butter to break up in there. So I think with bread, I have to be more aggressive. Gilmore Girls and all. She was played by Mrs. Melissa McCarthy. What? Really? Oh, so Pila's. What is that? Kitchen is to die for. Tia, thank you. It's really big and open. I love these old houses for that reason. This house is one like 102 years old, I think. Oh my god, look. These gluten. The gluten is coming. Okay, so then it says, add three cups more flour until the dough is no longer sticky. So this is the three-quarter cup part that I did. I'm panicking. If we mess this part up, then we have to do it again. And I can do it one more time. Because <laughs> I have one more packet of yeast. Um, what are Sopilas? Hi, Tia. Nice to see you. I hope you had a good day. So how was everyone's day, though? By the way, you guys missed it as well. We are going to be playing The Sims tomorrow, of course. And then on Thursday, we have trivia where I'm doing like giveaways and prizes and stuff to you guys. So Thursday is going to be a fun day for that. Till the dough is no longer sticky. Pretzel baking training you. Oh my God. I'm like Akabara. I don't know what I'm doing. This is my first time. <laughs> I exceed. I don't know what I'm doing. I've never really made bread successfully. Help! <laughs> Hi, exceed. How you doing? The greenhouse challenge and so regret being uh, being for the legs. <laughs> Wish I made you regret it. You guys never said anything about them being like, you know, even. You just wanted legs. Almost beautiful as you. Hi, Mary. I don't know. Should I? I'm like used to making pastries. Is this like too loose? Help. I always murder bread. I'm so bad. Start using your hands to knead. Put some flour in your hands to make it so it doesn't stick too much, not too much. Oh my God. Okay. Let's go like, I'm like, I mess up bread. Like it's my job. Yo. 
I'm so sleepy, but I'm feeling better. The last migraine was super rude. I got a smoothie for lunch because all my coworkers so sweet. Oh, I'm so sorry about your migraine, though, Cassie. I feel so bad. You uh, are a glorious unicorn who does not deserve the things that are being put forth to you. They'll come together as you need it. Okay. Because, like, I make pie crusts really well, but you, like, touch those until they're mixed and then no more. That's it. So they're super flaky. But, and then I try to do that with, like, bread. This says that I can add, like, a quarter cup to a half cup more if I need. So I've got a little bit. I think I'm going to add a little more here. I'm, like, such a novice at this. Oh, my God. It's like... <laughs> Take it out of the ball. Wait, take it out the ball? What do you mean? <laughs> it says that I can add quite a bit more. So I'm going to go ahead and just do that and then just knead it in and fold it in. Oh my God, it's getting better. Look at me. I'm a pro. You're doing great. Thanks. Cooking. I love it. Can we get a shout out for Molly? Molly is like one of my favorite people. And she's honestly, okay, I'm going to be real. Molly is like one of my inspirations to get more into the kitchen and everything. And to kind of give it a um, more of a try. And like do like all sorts of like cooking. We raid Molly often. But please go drop Molly a follow. Her and her husband exceed run a wonderful Twitch cooking show. And they're just a fun, sweet bunch. Molly is a delight. Absolutely. Sopayas. Sopayas. Am I pronouncing that right? Agree. We love Molly in this house. You know, I'm going to make it my mission to get better at, like, bread. Hi! Nerd fart! We love nerd fart! <sighs> Colleen Hoover visited the bookstore. Ooh, who's that? Looking good so far. Thank you, Akabara. I play The Sims. <laughs> and I color. Every once in a while, we do, like, cookies. And, oh, God, we've done, yeah, we've done cookies, Halloween treats. That was a lot of fun. Um, So it says, as you need to poke the dough with your finger, if it bounces back, it's ready to knead. It's kind of like slowly going here. So it says, um, poke the dough with your finger if it bounces back. It's slowly kind of like coming back. Is that good enough or does, does this need to be like quicker? I don't know. It's coming back. An extremely popular author right now because of TikTok. Ooh. You awake in there? Okay, it's coming back. I was like, it's slowly kind of like coming up. All right, so it says, if it bounces back, it's ready to need. Turn the dough out onto a floured surface. Knead the dough for three minutes and shape into a ball. Taking out of the bowl, right? Yep, that's totally it. I was like, right on the money. <clears throat> it's good. Yes, look at us. Thank you, guys. I don't know what I'd do without you, Beans. I really don't. That's a little too much flour. Hello, Zeph. It's okay. I'm going to take it here. I'm going to move this over here. Because my workspace is a little workspace smaller. Oh, my geez, butts. Thank you, Molly. That's so nice. Thank you for the biddies. So it says, knead the dough for three minutes and shape into a ball. So I don't know what I'm doing. Three minutes. So this is 6.04. So this is like forming glutens or getting those glutens worked in, I think. Worked up. We got you, love. Thank you. Am I like doing this properly? I just want to make the cheese. <laughs> Thank you. You're cute, nerd. I appreciate you. It's a little bit sticky. Getting a little sticky there. Man, now I know what bakers are like. <clears throat> you look fancy to me. Yeah, cheese dip. Uh, there's also this local mustard. It's made in the, the city, like, right next to mine. 
Um, I'm making their dip as well. So mustard dip and cheese sauce. Right? Gluten bonds, right, Akavara? Thank you. Akavara, it's nice to meet you, by the way. My name's Zephyrin. My pronouns are she, her. I see yours are he, they. I am so glad to meet you. More aggressive. Uh, put it in your hands and pull from the top. So you said, and then underneath, like, and then pull from the top underneath and then like to shape it. So kind of like this. So paillas, our friend at Spanish fried bread, honey or chocolate sauce. Oh my God, I want it. Take your anger out on it. All my anxiety and all of my anger at the world. That should be an alert. Wait, what should be an alert? <laughs> oh, no, you're okay, Roca. Thank you for that, my dear. It's, it's extra easy for me to miss things today. So, like, we're going to get this bread. <laughs> Man, now I think I know how I messed up when I, I try to make dinner rolls for the first time uh, for Thanksgiving. Um... And I don't think I'd, I'd like hardly needed it because I'm so used to making pastries. I give up. Oh, I tried really hard. <laughs> I still butchered it. So how many minutes? It says three. So it's 606. I don't remember when I started. But literally get this bread, right? It's starting to like really feel quite good in my hands now, though. 604. Okay. Hi, Jess. I love you. How are you? Kneading as well on the heel of the palm, right? I, th I don't think I'm like pushing enough into it, maybe. Because I make pastry, like uh, like pie crusts and stuff. Sopa Pia. Sopa Pia. Oh, Sopa Pia. Ah, I was, I, I was forgetting the last P, I think, right? Gotta get P brain. Sopa Pia. Yay! <laughs> so yeah, I, <coughs> excuse me. I usually play the Sims. Um, we do all sorts of fun little things like this as well. 607. Bing, bing. Okay. Is that looking good? I know like it says to need for three minutes, but also I'm kind of a, <clears throat> not that strong with it <laughs> or not being as aggressive, I think. Ooh, it's bouncy. Is that looking pretty good? Need to learn new words, all the little things, you glorious queen. All with the support of you, of course. Right? This I like chicken out. I do. Does that look okay, bread masters? It's looking like it's kind of coming back a little more. Maybe I should do it a little bit more. I don't know. It's looking pretty good, right? Should I should I do a little bit more, do you think? I also kind of wanna. <laughs> but I know you like shouldn't. Hmm. Um, lightly cover the towel and allow rest for 10 minutes. Looking nice. Yeah, I think I'll probably just cover it with the towel and let it take a nap. Just a little doughy nap for a little bit, right? What's the next step? Uh, nap time. <laughs> Lay it down for a nice nap. Shh, there you go. Also, my towel is really cute. I'm kind of obsessed with it. So in this moment... Right, put it in the bowl. Oh, put it in the bowl. It says to keep it on the counter. A little doughy nap. <laughs> Honestly, it does. How much dough making is the feel of the dough? Right, exactly. I suppose, you know, and there's one way to do it easier with someone who knows that's next to you or to just keep doing it until you know. Oh, Molly, if she's still here. I got a probiotic today. Peach mint, it's delicious. Oh, the dough can stick to the wood. Okay. Mm, here. <coughs> it 
Yeah, girl. Woo! I got my probiotics and my tum tum, my antibiotics as well. She has flour under. There was a little bit of. It was actually kind of like it was a little bit naky. But there we go. We napping in a bowl today. So at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of cleanup. And on the recipe, it says that I should get because we have to like do a um a baking soda bath with this with nine cups of water um because that's what gives it it's like brown like sheen to it i think is what it is i believe <coughs> i do think so i i'm gonna like rinse my hands really quick so i don't get flour all over everything in my mom I don't have my second thing out here, but I'm totes my goats. Gonna grab a pot of water. We got it. I'm gonna grab my big one. There we go. Nine cups of water is what it says. Um, yeah, my measuring cups over here. Got my big four cup one. So I'm just gonna sit here and do this and fill it up. And there's the sub. Who's that? Who is that? Thank you to whoever that lovely person was. Thank you. Close enough. Half of that will boil off anyway, I swear to God, because, you know, water and things. But thank you for the subby. Thank you for your support, y'all. I can't see. <laughs> Chat is so tiny over here. I'm across the room. All right. Uh, four cups, so that's eight. Ah, ah, ah. It says nine cups, so <sighs> one more cup. That is really close. I'll take it. All right, I am going to get this going over here. Get that going, and then it says... <gasps> Thank you. I appreciate that. There it is. <laughs> so it says a half cup. Ooh, a half cup of baking soda. Don't mind if I do. Also, I freaking love these because they store super nicely. I've had these since I was like 18. So it says baking soda. I'm going to double check myself. I'm 99% sure that it is. Yes. Okay. So we're going to do a half cup of baking soda. Hi, Nick. How are you? I've been craving Mexican food. <laughs> oh my God. I love Mexican food. Also, I'm getting my little chunkies all chunked up in here. Uh, across the border to New Mexico and to get some new Mexican food. Ooh, we have some really good Mexican restaurants around here. There's quite the uh, Mexican population here and um, they treat us good with the amazing food. Half cup baking soda over there the ph actually exactly so like it gets that like crusty delicious like tough texture right i'm gonna whisk that in a little bit too i'm gonna get a little whiskey in here You know what I should do, though? I should see what I need to preheat my oven to. 400. Okay. I am going to bake. You know, the thing that I do like about this oven, though, this came with the house, um, is also I like it. But um, I know it's, like, probably not that impressive, but I've never had it before. Um, you hit bake, and then you hit on a number pad what you want the temperature to be instead of sitting there just holding the button for whatever. Oh, you have some whiskey? Nice. I have some, like, strawberry lemon stuff over here. Ah, the skin of the pretzel. Many ways that people use to accomplish it. I wonder, do you like different uh, ways give it, like, different flavors, probably? I'm assuming. Because, like, science. I love Alton Brown from Good Eats. Um, freaking incredible. I like the science and the why behind cooking. It's like my favorite part. <clears throat> but 
Wait, uh, do you need me to delete that? Uh, Santa, I just deleted your message. Just, I don't know, like, if you said you just docked yourself. Um, yes, I got you. <laughs> I don't know what it said. Um, but I got you, boo. You, you were okay. Honestly, it's, I've done it before, too. We got you. We got you, boo-boo. Oh, the flavor. Oh, you, I got you, boo-boo. I see you. I've done it, too. And I'm like, wait, no. Ah, help me. <laughs> I got you. I was like, I don't know if you said it, but you said something that maybe I was scrolling back. Oh, you're good. Your hometown. Oh, I got you. I see you. I got you covered. Um, two baking sheets with parchment paper or silicone baking mats. I do want to get some of those. Oh, I got you. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh yeah. I can't remember what my baking sheets are. I do have them pretty decent baking sheets here. One day I'll have silicone liners, but it is not that day today. So I'm going to go grab my parchment paper all up in here. Ooh, whoa, whoa. Yeah. Oh, oh, thank God. I was like, oh no, this box is low. And then it gets like super curly and it's really annoying. But I have a new one because big brain. Um, but this one's like near the end of its life. Uh. Hey, that's actually perfect. It's actually not that bad. Um, just texted my husband. Oh, we think we should base all of our vacations on food. I think I'm with you. <gasps> You're craving pretzels now. The recipe, it's super easy, Molly. It's very easy. You got yeast. I know you probably have like all those things. Wait, so that, that is the biggest big brain thing I've ever heard in my life. Hannah Montana. <laughs> I'm just giving a good old rub down, you know. <coughs> um, kind of like dinner or just like a snack or something. More probably dinner. I think I'm going to make like a cinnamon sugar variety too, because yes, I forgot cream cheese. I was going to make like a cream cheese dip for it, but it's okay. Uh, a good one. Mexican place. My hometown is owned by Mexicans. <laughs> uh, the only one other place is Chipotle. When I go to college, there's a big variety of places from all over Latin America. It makes me happy. Oh. Also, you know what I love about gas stoves? Water boils so fast. It's almost like, oh my God, where you kind of like misjudge stuff, you know? Like how, uh, like how much you need, <laughs> like how much time you need for it. I got some water down in there. I am five foot ten. I am a tall person. Very tall. Seriously, Bubbles, I grew up with a gas stove and like I've lived in apartments for like the last nine years or so, probably. Um, I'll had electric. Right? Oh my god, especially when the power goes out. Didn't even think about that, right? Um, you two are you burn the poop out of my eggs the first time I cooked them there, right? Because you have a big doctor fan oh that's michael's uh this is michael's cookie jar it's the tardis you're scared of gas stoves uh why is that just the idea of gas and like leaks and stuff a hole in the wall local place is a great one in hometown a beeline for seriously i swear like the more hole in the wally the better the food i love the tardis right <laughs> Makes me excited. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Hi, Michael. How you doing, babe? Oh, and that you would burn the house down. It makes me really nervous, though. Um, the idea of having... I'm just getting this all wet. Um, the idea of having gas stove, too. But I've been a little more comfortable with the idea of it, honestly. I'm going to put these over here. Move my working space. I also might turn down my water a little bit. But I think I'm ready to start kneading things now. I know we watched a little bit of Doctor Who together. 
the pressed coffee and having gas stove when it powers out. Oh my God, school run, right? I freaking love pressed coffee. Ignore my full garbage can. I'm an adult. <laughs> ignore the full garbage can so, so. hi onyx how the heck are you welcome to the bean garden Ooh. hi jordan welcome on in what's going on i'm so glad you're here welcome on over four seasons of doctor who for ten dollars each okay that's a win okay i'm so scared um it says line two baking sheets with parchment paper or silicon baking mats got it got it set aside um cut dough into third cup sections hi lanny how you doing maris welcome on in everybody um i think we have rested for a while here right happy pretzel day why did i do this why did i put this away i'm a genius i'm done oh my god really <laughs> lilac you are about as tasty as soggy bread. Okay. Did you burn, baby? <laughs> I'm so sorry. <coughs> so it says roll the dough with a 22 inch rope. I can't measure. Asinine. I'm just kidding. I'm scared. A sharp knife. I have to handle a knife. I have like a pretty big knife here. I'll get a bigger one. We do have these really nice Chicago cutlery wooden handled ones, though, that Michael's grandpa have. Joe, come on! Why are you doing this to me? Oh, no. Cut dough into a third cup sections. Okay. Um... <laughs> How do I do this? Do I just go for it? Shoot. Mix 12, I would try that. So like, eh, that looks close enough to me. Okay. Um, I do but it doesn't work <laughs> I do but it doesn't work um I'm so good <laughs> yeah I don't know there's a charging cable for it and I don't know where it is we lot we just moved in like not even a month ago good enough to me look at my balls of dough my I know you guys are gonna clip that I hate you guys Hi, Jenna. How are you? Welcome on in. Jess, thank you for the lurk. Oh my god, I hate you. Don't do it! <laughs> Those are nice balls. Thanks. Dang it, Katara! Oh my god. Okay, that scared me. I heard something. I think Michael was on his phone upstairs. Make them bigger just for two of us eating them, right? <laughs> Some of these balls are going to be small, oh, smaller though. Just got some baby pretzels. It's fine. It's saying 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Well, I have more balls than the recipe called for. Some of my balls are big. Some of my balls are small. Some have big balls. Some have small balls. Not all balls are created equal, okay? It's all right. <laughs> <coughs> I feel like they probably, you're probably right, <laughs> Akavara. All right, so it says roll the dough into a rope. Uh, okay, so I have to roll them into ropes. You know, we've been having like worm problems in our yard. Our cats have issues. I think, um, and now I have to make this. These are hard, like it's difficult. 
So how big, how big are these going to be? A 20 to 22 inch rope? I feel like it has to be like smaller, you know? Worm, I know, now I'm making freaking worms in my freaking kitchen. Cassie, the balls aren't supposed to be hard. Well, it's not hard, it's difficult, I should say. Um, Look at my rope. <laughs> I feel like this is easier because I'm a rookie. Yeah, they're not hard. They're just, it's difficult. Like, uh, this is not that long. Cancel the worms. It was official. I did, right? The size of the dough, you're making 22 inch ropes, right? I'm, I'm sitting here like, did I make my balls too small? Maybe. Should I add another ball to this? Like, but how do you? Doesn't it raise first? Um, it says, uh, so I left it, I let it do the thing. I let it sleep for like 10 minutes, which it did. It said preheat, roll the dough for 20 to an, into a rope, form into a circle with the dough by bringing the two ends together at the top of the circle, twist the ends together. Um, and then it says, yeah, so do like, so you raise it for 10 sec 10 minutes, which I did. Then you roll it like here um, and then form the circle um boil the water which i did then drop one of two pretzels into there for 20 to 30 seconds and then you drain them off sprinkle with salt and then bake so no you don't have to do anything else smaller pretzels though right i'm okay with smaller pretzels i know it's so cute um so i have to like figure out how to do a pretzel shape i know some people do like the whoosh, whoosh, but i'm not at that point Ooh, did I just do it? Did I just do it? Oh my god. Ah, I got a baby! <laughs> it's so tiny. <laughs> this is not... <laughs> <coughs> I just guessed. Look at how tiny my pretzel is! It's so small. <laughs> I think that my... Uh... That is, that is, in fact, a pretzel shape. Yes! <laughs> I know it's so cute. I think that ball was small, but it's okay. Like we said, not all balls are created equal in this house. Right. Should I do, like... Um, all right. Bye, Molly. See you later. I'm hoping they, like, actually turn out. I don't know. I, like, I'm trying so hard to get it, like, but it's not really rolling on this surface very well. So maybe I have to be, like, more aggressive with it. Aha! There we go. Look at me! Bye, Molly! Thank you. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Swing over the side, must have the pretzel shaping, right? I know I've some I've seen like videos. I'm like, dude, that is a pretzel maker right there. Here we go, you guys. Look at that. Um look at the little baby curlies. Okay, we're getting better. Oh, I, I see. Okay. That one's like wrinkly. <laughs> I think I didn't like roll it hard enough, probably. I'm assuming. So I'm just going to do that. <coughs> ah, your, your bus is back. Oh, okay, Brown, that is really exciting. Congratulations. That is. You've had a heck of a go with all of that, right? So guys, if you guys go and make this, like, you, um, don't be afraid to be aggressive with it because I try to be too gentle, like just to get these to actually kind of like flatten out and roll out and everything. Don't be afraid. Oh man. So they do like a shoosh, shoosh. <laughs> I think the sound effects are absolutely wonderful, but yeah, they did. <laughs> I think they're perfect. These are going to be like the skinniest, most like ugh, pretzels ever. 
<laughs> Look at how weird they are. Look at that. I feel like they're just going to like fall apart in the water bath thing. Aggressive. Be eat aggressive. Exactly, Lilac, right? <coughs> Two months, but it's been three. Aww. I'm glad things got figured out for you, though. So, like, these are not girthy pretzels. <laughs> Look how freaking... <laughs> Like, should I do, like, pretzel wheels instead? <laughs> like, I don't know what I'm going to do because they're, like, really loose and they're not fat. I know it looks like it's going to run away. What are they supposed to look like? Oh, theirs looks sad, too, but not as sad as mine. Um... I have character because you could tell they're done by hand, right? I'm going to mash my balls together. <laughs> We're going to make fat pretzels. I'm going to redo some of these. I know the risk of like overworking the gluten and having them be tough, but I want to try it. So we're going to mash our balls together, you guys. Are you guys ready for this? Mash my balls then? Yes, we're going to mash them. Because I'm looking at the photos and they're about this thick right here. Like, is it about of a third of a cup? And I did, but, like, maybe I didn't. Press your legs in the body of the pretzel to assure the legs won't be listed. Uh, legs into the body of the pretzel to assure. Oh, like, the, the, I was like, my legs. <laughs> I see what you're saying, though, Akavara. So, like that. Uh, the straight twist kind. Ooh, that's a good idea. I think I'm going to mash these balls together. I think that looks better. It looks more like the photo. I know, best one yet, right? <laughs> Practice makes progress, kids! Not bad. Okay, my water isn't like gone. I boiled it way too early. I, you know, sometimes your timing, you get better at it as you go, which is totally valid. Boom. All right, that one's got some long legs. It's okay. Ah. All right, this one looks like a good contender here. Look at my balls or my pretzels. kind of cute what about you guys i'm kind of excited right now uh, i got my independent medical review done hopefully this goes well agrees with my gp uh, the insurer keeps me on work cover enjoy the baking i love you lilac hi perry how are you we're mashing balls together how you doing teaching will be in the same place right otherwise i could teach a crash course in pretzel making right do you what do you do aka do you like do you do baking yourself uh, do you like pretzel making and all sorts of things? Um, I'm learning to be more aggressive with dough because I'm used to making like pie crust. And that is not a oh, pretzel maker for 13 years. <gasps> I'm surprised that I got the shape or the idea of it as quickly as I did. Because sometimes my brain is like, but how does that work? for 13 years. That's so cool. Really? I like it. I feel like we're among a, like a, I think today's like National Pretzel Day or something. Um, hi, Meg. Never made pretzels, but actually looks fun. I'm having a blast right now. I was so scared at first, honestly. Um, Because I'm not really that good with like uh, yeast and raised things. Auntie Annie's pretzel. Auntie Zephy's! I like it. <laughs> you guys do basically call me like the fun aunt of Twitch. It's a Stardew Day. Oh, I think it's Stardew Day. Wait, what? I think it's International like, Pretzel Day. Uh-huh. Fun aunt vibes. Yeah, that's the way that the community likes to kind of describe me. Fun aunt. 
of Twitch, and I'm like, I'm totally okay with that. <clears throat> this is not making 12 pretzels. It makes me wonder, like, if it raised enough or if I got it, like, if I did enough with it, but that's okay. It is pretzel day. I thought so. Because I like to do little events like this. I like to try to do a baking stream or at least plan one at least once uh, a month because I like doing kitchen stuff with you guys. Here we go. I've seen people do like the crazy like little swoop swoop whatever thing. Oh, you love my kitchen. Aw, thank you. The the guys who flipped this house, because it is a flip, they did a really good job with it actually. It's pretty cute. It's very gray, and I can't wait to like paint and stuff. Aw. It's so fun to watch you bake and try new stuff, right? Like I'm okay with being bad at something, you know? Like I love asking you guys things. I like learning. Um, I really want to do a sponsorship with like HelloFresh. I think that would be a lot of fun, honestly. <coughs> it takes time to master, right? <laughs> Maybe I'll try it. Um, I know, right? Because I, I, I like it. I don't know. It exactly. You kind of got it. You got to suck at something before you get good at it first, right? <laughs> the noise makes me feel better. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Hold on. Ah. Hey, Michael. <laughs> How do you do it? <laughs> <laughs> the noise really makes it pick up the end and swing for in uh right in front of left. Hey, kinda. <laughs> close. That was really close. I don't want to overwork this one or like stretch it out and make it all weird. I think the noise made it too. <laughs> And that ends in opposite hand. Ah. Vacaroni, hi. I love you. How you doing today? <laughs> um, These balls are pretty big. I'm going to make, because I've got one more after this, a wild in the wrist motion. I know it was like all over the place. I think I have to be like a little more like close. So this is my penultimate one, my second to last. Elijah just giggled. <laughs> I'm feeling a lot better. Still pretty congested and like kind of like draining as you guys might hear because I'm like, <laughs> like all that, but I'm doing pretty good. Pretty good. Second round of antibiotics this morning. How are you, Perry? Okay, ready? Like, nailed it. <laughs> oh, sort of a gentle swing and I'm more like this. <laughs> I mean, sort of beautiful. <laughs> I mean, I'm like halfway there, right? It just didn't stop at like the right, the right time. I mean, I don't want to stretch this out too much. So we're just going to go and do it by hand. <laughs> So entertaining. I am going to get my other thing after I make this one, though. My other paper. <laughs> Clear that gunk out on well. I'm so glad you're doing good. And thank you for the recommendation on the Sudafed and the um, antibiotics, too. Or not the antibiotics, the Flonase. Stupid congestion, man. Now, if my right ear could, like, be better, that'd be great. Boys, want to give it a go this weekend? It's so fun. It's so easy, Cassie. It is. And if you mess up, so what? Order pizza, you know? 
I think that's kind of like the fun part of it. Wait, let me try it again. And you can see like how forgiving it is too. Uh, either catch the pretzel as it swings with your fingers or slow with the table. <gasps> kinda. <laughs> it's sort of there. It's like upside down, kind of, but it worked. Professional! Look at that! I know! I feel like there's there needs to be like an air horn like, bah, 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 like going off and everything right now. I really do. Yay! <laughs> Not like the prettiest pretzels in the world, but yeah. Not I know it's close enough. <laughs> we'll get it. Pregnancy craving gun nuts. I crave pretzels with cheese sauce. Ooh, we gonna make that today, honey. Misty. Okay. They're like not the prettiest in the world, but they will do. Look at them. They're not bad. Okay. So this says. I have a feeling that this is going to mess up right now, right? Like, <laughs> this is where it's going to go really bad. It says, roll the dough, uh, bring the baking soda, nine cups of water to a boil, which she's been on. She's like simmering now, but I'm going to turn her up because I got ahead of myself. Um, Bring the baking soda up to a boil in a large pot, drop to one to two pretzels of baking water for 20 to 30 seconds. Any more than that, and they will be metallic-y. A slotted spatula. I have that somewhere. Uh -huh. This is seriously the perfect thing. I have a frying net. I don't know where it came from, but I have one. And this is perfect for this. <laughs> I definitely think you guys should give this a try. It's super easy and fun. So it says, place pretzel onto a prepared baking sheet. Sprinkle with each course with coarse sea salt. Repeat with remaining pretzels. So I don't have sea salt, but I do have kosher salt. Coarse kosher salt, which I think it'll be okay. Right? <laughs> make 300 more plus 1,200 pretzels. <gasps> I can make pretzel rolls. I freaking love pretzel rolls. Oh, my God. Tartar's cookie jar, you do. You do, Perry. Right there. It's pretty cute. Y'all can see, if I go this way, you can see my spice rack, too, that we hung. I think they look really cute. Uh, ooh, some pepperoni. I wish we had pepperoni. Oh, my God, that'd be so good, like pizza ones. Okay, this is not quite boiling. Dude, I want to do more. This is fun. <coughs> this is fun we gotta make cookies tonight too which that'll be good as well um it says remove from the oven and serve warm with spicy nacho cheese sauce <gasps> oh my god i have to make the cheese sauce oh god um meh, meh, meh. We're going to put this over here. Hi, Libby. How you doing? Welcome on in. It's good to see ya. So this one is super easy. Um, Unsalted butter. A boom. Crepe pretzels. Nice. I'll take some goldfish crackers. Want to trade? I hope this doesn't turn out like a dumpster fire. They smell like pretzels, though. Um... Corn starch, salt, <clears throat> corn starch, salt, butter, milk, and the cheese. Got the milk, got the cheese. My water's not quite boiling yet. Milk, cheese. <laughs> Um, salt, okay, and it's asking for Frank's Red Hot as well. Where did I put it? Oh, I took it out of the fridge already. Right here. There it is. 
So butter, cornstarch, milk, cheddar cheese, salt, pepper, which I have my pepper grinder right here, and then hot sauce, got it all. So one thing that I actually should do before we get this kind of rolling here, I kind of forgot about it. I am disorganized. It's fine. Cooking with me is chaos. So I have to find where I put my cheese grater. Where did I put you? Here it is. I was like, I know I just used it the other day. <sighs> so this is saying cheese needs to get grated. My water's not quite boiling yet. I turned it down a little bit more because I forgot to start the cheese sauce. Fun fact, ideally if you had a pretzel salt as well as a coarse salt and usually treat the chemical agent. Oh, so it doesn't get like soggy, right? Ooh, that's actually kind of, that's helpful. Chaos! Cooking with me is chaos though. Matt Smith or David Tennant. I've heard really good things about both those doctors. Is Tawny here right now? Tawny would definitely have some opinions on this. Did I see Tawny come in? Am I like crazy? Oh, hello. Zeph's got a knife. It's okay, you guys. I'm using a sharp cheddar. Mm, good cheese. I'm from Wisconsin. I love cheese. Super good. Good morning, Louise. How are you? I'm making pretzels and then we're going to make some cookies. I hope you're having a good day. Good morning. Um, Matt Smith, but I'm behind the season, so I need to catch up on the newest one. I liked uh, what I saw there, though. Um, are they still making, like, Doctor Who ones? I know I love Sharp Cheddar, too. Mm. I am with you. I wish uh, I could find Hook's cheddar down here, but I can't. It's from Wisconsin, and it is so good. So good. Um, new home screen? It is. Perry, it really is. It's terrible. Did you see what I posted to Sims General? Um, <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> <laughs> you look in Sims General in Discord. Uh, I'm having a great time today, y'all. How you doing? So it said eight ounces of sharp cheddar cheese. I they put a a non like an anti clumping agent on um like almost like a powdery substance. Um, I think like a cornstarchy sort of thing on um, pre-shredded cheese. So if you're trying to do something like a sauce, I've heard that it's better to do something like this and like grate your own cheese. Um, <clears throat> because it's gonna be like smoother and stuff. Grated cheese is so good, I tried to eat it when my mom grated cheese as a kid, yes! Just a little snack, right? It is and it's so delicious, I'm with you, look at that. And I love the texture of it, too. It's cheesy. Mm -hmm. Just a little cheesy snack for the cheesy lady. So we have all this right here. All right, so... It is saying in a small saucepan of meaty heat, melt the batter, melt, melt the butter. So I should be able to do this as it's good. I just wanted to get this one all good to go. There we go. Yeah. So we should be able to get the, the pretzels baking, but I wanted to make sure I got the cheese grated first because it made me feel better. So, you know, okay. So I have to go and do it for like 20 to 30 seconds. It looks like in boiling water with my pretzels. So we're going to do this. You guys can't see what I'm doing, but it is boiling. And I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm putting them on here. Dip the pretzels, the boiling bath method, right? Yeah, because I heard they can be like extra metallic-y. And I'm also going to like get this already over here so I can sprinkle them when they're so wet. So it says 20 to 30 seconds. Oh, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ooh, we're not a 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. 25 instead of 30 so it's kind of like right in the middle we're gonna do this one hi Tyrion how are you one two three one thousand four one thousand five one thousand six one thousand seven one thousand eight one thousand nine one thousand ten one thousand eleven one thousand twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen nineteen 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Not me messing up counting while streaming is fine. I was doing multitasking things. It's fine. Don't ask me to teach your kids. <laughs> Just a little bit of saltiness for everybody here. Oh my God, they're so cute! Okay. One potato, two potato. I like that more. Um, it says bake for 12 to 15 minutes or until golden brown. I want to do one sheet at a time because it's going to make me feel better. So we're going to do this. We're going to put them right in. Boom! Um... I set a timer on it. Hi, <laughs> Eva, you do it for a living. Come on. <clears throat> Hi, Eva, you're pretty. How are you? They look amazing. Thank you. So the recipe said like 12, but I have like eight. So it's fine. Look at my pretzels. They were not as girthy, but now they're girthy. Um, I love you. How are you, Eva? You are beautiful. Love my hair today. Thank you, Madison. You're so nice. You guys are so nice. I appreciate you. Thank you for the sweetness, you guys. So I'm going to get a start on some of the wet ingredients here with my beautiful cheesy sauce and the cheese dip recipe. I posted them to Discord in the announcement section, but I also have them here. And then if you want the pretzel recipe, super easy, y'all, right there. <laughs> wet, <laughs> moist ingredients. Unsalted butter. Um, so it says one cup of milk. I'm just going to like hold it in the measuring cup. Finding a migraine. Aw, I love you. I'm sorry about the migraine. You know, if you and Cassie, I wish you guys could just feel better, you know, for your guys' sake. You guys are amazing. Not moist. You. I just did it. <laughs> love you, Cassie. Moist. Cassie, you make my heart moist. <laughs> I know, I'm sorry your brains are rude. It's a probiotic drink. I'm having, I have antibiotics right now. So I decided to get that at the grocery store. It was delicious. Um, hi, sunshine. Louise, it is currently 6.54 p.m. for me. That's the sweetest thing you ever said to me. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. <laughs> um, so then it says we got the the milk measured. Okay, melt the butter over medium heat. Sprinkle the cornstarch over the butter. So I'm just gonna do the cornstarch right here. Half a tablespoon of cornstarch. It says on it says all purpose flour as well, but I'm doing cornstarch instead. We're going to do half a tablespoon, half a tablespoon. Here we are. Cornstarch is so squeaky and I love it. Okay. I'm just pre-measuring this so I can just dump them into the thing. Yeah, I have, I have anxiety and like I panic when I cook. So I like to pre-measure things. I know you can just do it right there, but I am not the most skilled person. 
So that's the way that I've learned how to do it to make it manageable so I don't mess up. Um, medium heat, melt the butter. So we have one tablespoon of unsalted butter. So in America, I don't know if they do that everywhere, but they come in like quarter pound sticks. And they come like measured like this. So you can just be like, oh, there's a tablespoon. We also measure things like really stupid here. Hi, Mel. How are you? Welcome on in. I'm glad to see ya. What's happening? Louise, I'll save some pretzels for ya. Um, the water's still boiling and I still have water, so I'm okay. Um, cornstarch, okay. Milk in the microwave for 15 to 20 seconds. So, okay. Then it says, so I'm basically, okay, I'm just making like a roux style thing, kind of, with cornstarch. Hot sauce you prefer, sauce gets too thick. Okay, pretty easy. Uh, nine to 10 hours, absolutely. I can even make more if you want. I will absolutely do that for you. Thousand percent. Hi! Is that Gordon Ramsay? Should I start yelling at people? Wait, you're an idiot sandwich or whatever. Hi, how are you, Robin? Good to see you. I'm making pretzels today. What's happening? Good to see you. Hopefully my, wait. Thank you for the compliment. I made them look like pretzels. I'm pretty proud. This guy is probably my favorite, I think. And it, no, I know no one here is an idiot sandwich. <laughs> that is a fair point. No one here is an idiot sandwich. <laughs> so precious. Um, I was doing some really cool like sound effects. So you know, it was like super good pretzel making. Cause I tried to do like the, the really cool like thing where people like do it and it like ties itself. And it was like, whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. so you know it's authentic. It makes the pretzels taste better. Rip Automata. <laughs> Automata is dirty sometimes. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, it really is. So I think I'm gonna do my AD. If this is like ADHD cooking with Zeph right here. Hi, Liddy, how are you? I identify as an idiot sandwich as well. High cupboards, they do. I am tall and they bother the living poop out of me. There's like nothing up there because who does that? Like, look at how tall those are. Like I'm five foot 10, okay? I can't, I can't even reach those. Seriously, Mel, like I'm tall, okay? You guys can't see what I'm doing, but I'm starting more fire over here. Um, it's dangerous in here, I guess you could say. Pretty cool. Also, these drawers annoy the absolute poop out of me. Um, in order, like the people who, <laughs> who remodeled this kitchen, in order to get these drawers here in the corner, these two, to like pass each other, they like, they like cut off the little like things so you can't get your hand behind the handle. And uh, you have to like grab it with your fingertips and it's like the worst thing. So when we, when we redo the, the handles, <laughs> I picked out knockers basically. <laughs> I'm going to have nice knockers in my kitchen, but yeah. Um, <laughs> so it was like the most ridiculously annoying thing ever and I can't wait. So they're going to be like really crazy. Four foot, <laughs> 11 and a half. What? You know, Gesticulation is one of our moderators. She is one of my real life friends. Um, we used to work together. We worked in like kitchen stuff together too. And uh, she, um, I was sassy with her and I would put things on high shelves for her. High shelves to annoy her. But then she put things down low to annoy me. So it was kind of, you know, it was definitely justified. Pretzel baker and sounds like a lightsaber. Exactly. <laughs> Ooh, we can call them lightsaber pretzels. Lightsaber pretzels. George Lucas don't come for me. Actually, Disney don't come for me. Or do. Partner with me, please. That'd be really cool. Okay, so then it says, I didn't read the instructions. Um, <laughs> it says, uh, spring 
through the corn starch of the stirring constantly. Oh no, okay, constantly, got it. And then I think I do, ah! <laughs> Hold on, 30 seconds. Warm up my milk, it's okay. It's only cornstarch and butter, guys. If I mess it up, it's not that big of a deal. It says to warm up the milk. Start already! Thank you, it's fine. <laughs> I'm a mess. Uh, um, cook for one minute, it's okay. I'm fine, I just removed it from the heat because I am a professional chef, okay. Um, I don't want to scorch my milk though, so. It's okay to be like bad at things, you know? Like, you gotta, you gotta suck at things sometimes to get like okay at them, right? Like, learning things on stream is hard, but God, is it fun. Free professionals, commercial style apron. It, it, I stole it from my old job. <laughs> I, well, I didn't steal it. It was like I had several aprons because I used to work kitchen jobs and stuff. And <laughs> it kind of made its way into my trunk. <laughs> it's like the whatever Cintas apron thing, like your standard food service apron. Called it. <laughs> yeah, I worked my fair share of kitchen jobs. Ooh, I have my milk. Okay, wait, we getting milky in here, kids. Okay, we getting milky. Um, you know it's a good thing when I carry my pan um, off the stove to read the instructions. Uh, we getting whiskey in here. Remove from heat and stir until cheese until smooth. Okay. Um, we're just going to stir this then. Uh, until thickened but pourable. Okay. Hi, Fod. How are you? A wholesale kitchen apron, right? Oh, my God. So, like, wait. Do exclamation point merch. I can't do it right now because I'm busy destroying things um but uh i have a red bubble thing and i made the tammy cookie if you look at the tammy stuff she you'll know when you see her it's the cookie illustration that stares into your soul i am getting that apron i'm going to purchase it tonight after stream fod thank you i appreciate you I love these real. This is like a 102. Yeah, that that's Tammy. That's Tammy right there. It's a cookie that I made of Benjamin. Um, <laughs> Tammy! Uh, I'm I'm getting a Tammy apron because I need it. She stares into your soul, and I'm gonna wear it for like baking streams in the future when I get one. I actually might just do like a non incentivized baking stream because usually we have them for like sub goals and stuff here but um i need to break in the tammy apron as soon as i get her right like i i have to do that i need it yes there's a backpack of tammy tammy she was a beautiful cookie i think it's said to add it slowly but i don't do things slow here it's fine. Cooking with Zeph is ADHD in its prime form. Ah, I love this. It's all so cheesy. I wish I had like an over the, maybe, maybe I'll get like a third webcam. So I can do like an over the stove thing so you guys can watch me get my stove dirty in like real time and like stir things and stuff. Cause like, I know, oh my God. Um, uh, <laughs> Alexa, stop. How are my pretzels? Okay, those are not done. Alexa, set a timer for five minutes. I'm sorry for those of you who have that. Um, Louise, I did butter and cornstarch and cheese is what's going on right now. So it says just to keep stirring it. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Were you yelling at yours to stop? Be like, what? And she's like, I didn't do anything. Why are you doing this to me? The sauce gets too thick, add in one to two tablespoons of warmed milk. 
Mm. Oh, I can add my pepper. Mm. And a little bit of salt. I think the salt is like a quarter of a teaspoon. I'm just going to like wing it. I'm a little more precise with like my baking, but just a pinch of salt. Like if I'm doing things on the stove top, that's when I'm like, eh, it looks good to me. That looks pretty good to me. A little bit of pepper. I'm going to put that up here. There's so much merch. I need it all. <laughs> you know, we did like the diamond thingy. There's like the, the four different ones. It's kind of like diamond print style looking things. Also, I'm going to move this over here because I'm in front of my stove. Magic. Um, but, uh, there's like several like diamond prints and everything. There is a green one, a yellow one, and a red one. And then there's like one that is like a gradient of all three. That was an idea that I had in my head for a really long time, actually. I'm going to use a whisk. Google. One. Oh, no, this is not your name. Oh, my God. <laughs> um, all of the home assistants are, are they're rising up. Uh, when prepared to hear deep voice and it startled me. Oh, did you really? <laughs> I'm so sorry about that. See, I'm making some sort of like a cheese sauce thing. I've never made like an actual cheese sauce, but I'm really excited for it right now. I love Redbubble. Um, so basically, I use Streamlabs, but Streamlabs is shady. And we don't like Streamlabs in this house. They were stealing people's things. Um, and like intellectual like property. And basically, uh, Stream Elements only has like very, very limited amounts of items. And then I just decided to go Redbubble. The only downside to Redbubble is that they don't have like on stream alerts. So like if you purchase merch, they don't have that. But like I still will donate all of the, the revenue just like I did when I was using Stream L or Stream Labs um, to the Trevor Project. So whatever money that I would get through, you know, income on that, I, I still am going to donate it. Um, just as we did before. But Redbubble just has so much more like offerings. You're very welcome, Tyrion. How are you, by the way? I love you. Your ear piercing looked so good, by the way. Slacker, they don't have stream alerts. That's awesome. Nice. That's pretty good. Not too bad. Oh, these are getting kind of toasty. I'm they're like right there though. Some of them are really light, and then the other ones are kind of like a little bit dark on the edges. So this has to add like a little bit of hot sauce, and I think it'll add like a little zang to it, just like a little bit of the vinegary kind of like whatever. Um, a little acid. So I am going to do a little bit of Frank's Red Hot. Don't need money. Aw. <laughs> Thank you so much. A little bit bad. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Just a There we go. <laughs> you know it's good. <laughs> you do the sound effects. <laughs> I made a pickle pie. Um... It, I hated that it wasn't bad. I did it on stream once. Um, I can't remember when I did it. It was like, we did it for like, uh, we, we raised money for, I think it was St. Jude. And I made pickle pie and it wasn't bad. Trevor, Louise, the Trevor Project, it, uh, do exclamation point um, merch. You can read up on the Trevor Project, but they do a lot to help trans LGBTQIA youth. Um... And there's a hotline that you can call. Our lovely Cassie actually does work with them. Our moderator, Cassie, who is like, I want to be like Cassie when I grow up. But you can read all about them. They are amazing and they offer so many great resources. So incredible. But they have a really intense process to, um, to be able to be someone who works for them. It's really cool. Alexa, stop. <laughs> <clears throat> but I donate to them. It is very important to me. <gasps> ah! <laughs> ah! Oh, can you smell them? Wait, that's getting hot. Hello. Oh no. <laughs> um. Woo! Those look so good. I don't want to put it on there. 
Um, I'll have to get like a little oven mitt thingy, I think, to put them so you guys can stare at them. Um, because I don't want to like burn things because I'm a professional. And uh, this is a wood top. Literally delicious. And this is on like a really low heat. So I'm going to hit this for just a second. It's like on as low as it can go, but I just don't want to scorch it. So I just hit it a little bit again. You look amazing, nerd. Hi, how are you? <coughs> Welcome to ADHD Cooking with Zeph, where I put things on all my surfaces because <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. <coughs> Excuse my coughing, by the way. I'll let you guys stare at these for a bit while I dunk my other ones. Uh, uh. <laughs> it's kind of how I feel right now. Mm, can you smell them? So good. I wonder if my mom's in here. Mom stops in sometimes. Mom, look, I'm cooking. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Her and her dad have been really busy. Her and my dad have been really busy uh, with like remodeling the kitchen, or not remodeling, but painting it and everything. So I'm gonna heat this back up again because this has been boiling for ten years. I'll be there in four hours. I'll keep the door open. I'll even make more fresh for you. Yes, my mom. Oh my god, my mom does. My mom. My my parents go to bed at like 7:30 p.m. Um, but she'll catch like the first part of the stream and then whatever part, wherever she had to like leave, she'll like wake up in the morning and then like, uh, have coffee. But I love my parents so redonkulously much. We stand supportive parents. Okay. I got to count. Hopefully I don't mess up this time. One. Oh no, it's upside down. Two, three, one thousand, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26 ish. Looks pretty good to me. I'm going to flip it back upside down though. I like have this fryer spoon thing. And I don't know where the heck it came from. And I've been annoyed by it. But now I know that it's perfect for making pretzels. So I am very happy with this. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, excuse me, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. Hi, Kibber. Hi, baby boy. Watch out, baby. Please don't, because I don't want to mess these up, buddy. Please don't jump on my things. He's woke up from nap, and now he's choosing chaos. Remove this from the heat, turn that off, and I'm going to sprinkle them with the salt right now while they're still kind of moist. That one's for you, Cassie. This is kosher salt here because I don't have pretzel salt because I am not fancy. This is not coming out very fast. I'm not making them that salty, I promise. <clears throat> All right. In they go. Oh, so hot. Okay. Alexa, set a timer for 15 minutes. I am sorry. So, so. Hello, uh, Mrs. Reed. How the heck are you? Welcome to the Bean Garden. What is going on? Hoping you're having a good day. I want this to like thicken a little bit. <coughs> Moist is a naughty word in this house. I say it when I want. Oh, you guys get to see my yellow plates, too. Butterbell is also here. I'm a 90-year-old lady, so I have a Butterbell. Hey, 
babies. I know they're good helpers, aren't they? Hi, Kimber. Now you guys get to see his noodle tail, where it just goes like that. That makes me so happy. Hi, Shiv. Thank you. They did a really good job of remodeling this because this is a flip. Oh, my God. Oh. With all this. Oh, my God. Look at that. Look at those bottoms. I'm actually really proud, y'all. Traditional method for home cooks making pretzels. Oh, really? What do they do to get that, like, brownish? Like, look to that. Look, oh, my God. Am I going to get carb loaded tonight? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Oh, a lie bath. Ooh. They look perfect. You look perfect. <laughs> I love you, Tyrion. <laughs> I think the sensual music kind of made it, too. I'm moving sharp, pointy objects out of my way. I got a lake. Make them all cute and take a photo. And then forget to post it to social media because that's what I do. <laughs> I'm the worst content creator because I forget to do so much stuff. I really want pretzels now, right? Oh my god, these are so easy to make, too. Oh, lie is a bit of a danger if you're not used to working with it, right? <gasps> oh my god, I have mustard dip. I have to make it. It's really easy, though. My cheese sauce is on, like, the lowest heat, by the way. Like, it's barely even, like, warm. So there's this local mustard, and they have this, like, locally renowned... <laughs> like mustard dip recipe that they make it's called a uh, boat cheese mustard if you guys are from the quad cities in illinois y'all will kind of know exactly what i'm talking about i'm going to move my cam over here because it's in my face again but it's uh something i don't know like what measurements it is but i know what ingredients it has i'm gonna make a small batch of it Um, actually, you know what? Yeah, I'm going to use one of these. One of these little bowls. This will be cute as all heck. Oh, no, Louise. Yeah, it keeps, uh, oh, you can't do the, uh, the links. Thank you for trying to help, though. <coughs> Excuse me. We don't do links in chat. Not against you, but thank you for trying to help, Louise. You're so nice. I appreciate you. Um, I did post the recipes in general or like the alerts, whatever section announcements in Discord. Oh, lye will eat through your skin. Oh, didn't they used to make soap with lye? Like the reason why that they say not to clean your cast iron pans with soap is because soap used to have lye in it. And that would eat it. But like most soaps today don't have lye in it. Don't look at me. Um, <laughs> so it's okay to clean cast iron with soap now. Hey! <laughs> Mandaloria, thank you so much for the gosh darn seven months. You're so cute. I'm sorry. I am an adult. I'm a whole 30-year-old. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. So this is a really nice, like, it's a pretty spicy mustard. It is stone ground. Um, It's pretty popular. Um, mayo and pretzels. We're making a mustard dip. So this is a very spicy stone ground mustard. Um, this is kind of like a Quad Cities delicacy, if you will. Um, I already got a spoon. Hello. Uh, I might do another one because of the mustard. Or I don't want to like cross contaminate here. But I don't know the measurements, so I'm just winging it. But it is Miracle Whip, boat cheese, mustard, and sugar. <laughs> I like Miracle Whip personally. Obviously, we have a giant jar of it because we went to Costco. <clears throat> I'm all grown up. 
Miracle Whip. Miracle Whip is considered salad dressing. A lot of people use it in place of um, mayonnaise. But um, it's like sweet and tangy. It's not made with eggs. It's made more with oils. I like both mayonnaise um, it, and Miracle Whip in their own applications. Like if I'm having a BLT, I like Miracle Whip. Egg sandwich, Miracle Whip. Um, if I'm having like a, a mustard salami, like hard salami sort of sandwich, I'm going to reach for, um, that needs more mustard. Uh, I'm going to reach for mayonnaise. But it's definitely sweet. And it's very much so um, a product of the 1940s or 50s or whatever. But yes, yeah, it's a very American, it's violently American. In fact, I will proudly say that this needs a lot more mustard, but I'm just going to rinse the spoon and go for it. So I don't like cross contaminate here. Hi, dancer. How are you? I'm like, it, yes, it's like mayo, but like less thick and sweeter. Thank you, Cassie. If you guys want to see the, the recipes that I made or the recipes that I'm using, they're in Discord, and also those are the for the soft pretzels that we made here too. Just right now, Michael's mom always makes this, and Michael knows what the ingredients are, but I don't know the ratios. I think she literally just wings it, and like that looks good, knowing her. Like, I know what it's supposed to taste like because I've had it, but yeah, it's literally like bochi's or like a spicy stone ground mustard, Miracle Whip, and sugar. But I think she goes a lot sweeter on it. Pretzels and Miracle Whip. Oh my god. <laughs> marinara. Ooh. Marinara would be freaking delicious with that too, right? That would. Oh, you're okay. Felix had a paper cut. Oh, with his hand dripping a blood, it was dramatic. He's all bandaged up and good to go. Oh, poor Bubba. He probably saw the the blood and like started freaking out because same though. Because same. <laughs> We're also making cookies today too, by the way, you guys. I don't know how many batches I'll make, but uh, I have to make some cookies for my dad's benefit on Saturday. So I'm making some of those. Hi, Thundercloud. Welcome on in. How you doing? It's real good to see ya. We made some pretzels. I've got some more in the oven. I'm currently gonna get some of this cheese sauce all up in this little ramekin thingy. Um... Hi, TDAC. How you doing? Welcome on in. Happy Tuesday. Took me a second. I had to remember what day it was. How you doing, cutie patootie? Oh, my God. <laughs> I have not tasted this yet. Oh, that's good. Y'all. Uh, Costco shib. It's amazing. I use it a lot in... Um, I use it a lot in, what's it called, uh, like my laundry and stuff too, and cleaning. I like it. Ooh. Okay. I think, okay. That's pretty good. Okay, but to critique myself, I think um, when I did the kneading the first time before we like let it rest, I needed to knead it more and more aggressively, but now I know. Hi, chef. How are you? They're pretty good. A little chewy, but I know what I'm, I could have done better. They're still pretty gosh darn good, honestly. I'd do it again. That's a good cheese dip recipe. I'm going to text my boyfriend and ask him. Wanna try one question mark? 
Nice. The cinnamon and sugar. Oh, shoot. I forgot to do that. Dang it. That would have been so good. Yes, I will definitely share um, if we all take small enough bites. Mm-hmm. I think we can do it. Hmm. There's a miracle up in Canada, too. We aren't immune to the delicacies of the 1940s. Um, I can usually tell the recipe my mother, my grandmother's making from her mom. Uh, from, hold on, sorry, where? Her mother's recipe, how many things that aren't rationed in them? Aw. <laughs> it's so interesting, right? Just a little nibble. They're actually not bad. Lion soap, it was used for that. And I have someone some homemade pretzels that might in turn into... Turn homemade pretzels into soap and not realizing they sprayed a fat-based cooking spray in pan. They placed lye and dipped your pretzel in the fat. Which... <laughs> Saponify? What the heck? That's so crazy. Really, Aka? Just a nibble, please. I've got a good mustard dip. It's like a little sweet, a little spicy. It's pretty good. Mmm. With this, it go a little goes a long way because it's very horseradishy by the way. Mm! <laughs> oh my God, that was strong. <sighs> but it was good. But it like really, oh, clean the sinuses. Mm, fat plus lye makes soap. That's so, in you know, science. I freaking love that. Mm. But this is definitely a Quad Cities. This is made in Rock Island, Illinois. Uh, like a delicacy. Water, vinegar, mustard seed, sugar, and salt, apparently. So there's no horseradish. It's just very mustardy, but it's very good. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Guys. I did it. I didn't mess it up. I'm proud of myself. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I love it. Michael went to KFC earlier. And I forgot he has lemonade. <laughs> I stole it. Shh, don't tell him. <laughs> from Chicago. Oh yeah, chef, we're from we're from the Quad Cities. Louise, thank you. Be back for your next dream. I need to go to bed. Oh, I hope you have, a, I have sweet dreams. Had lemonade, thank you. Exactly. Lace gets it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hey! <laughs> That's a toy, not food. Mm-hmm. Local dad, you should totally do that. You should. They're really easy. Um, they would be quicker, but I'm slow at everything I do. <laughs> but uh, yeah, the only thing that I would have done differently in the beginning stage to get the glutens to form even more and to encourage it to rise more would be to be more aggressive with the first need before you ball it. Yes, Katara, we still are. I'm thinking about probably doing them. We could do them tomorrow. But I think I maybe did it for like Monday. Um, I love when I saw Phantom Medicine. There's a little pretzel shop next to the theater outside. Uh, it was the only outside of food allowed in the theater. My dad and I bought four pretzels. And they had this thick chocolate fudge. <gasps> oh, that's so good. They would make them in front of you. That's so good. I freaking love that nerd. Oh, no. Wait, Jordan. It's almost 1.30 a.m. Good night. Aw. Wait. Oh, Louise. Go to, uh, go to bed. We miss you. I'll see you soon. But the texture does look pretty good, though. It's not bad. Mm-hmm. I'm waiting for the other ones to bake. Because then we can consider making peanut butter cookies together. Mm hmm Alexa, stop. I 
I muted my mic. <laughs> Cooper. Cooper. He might be upstairs. All the salt off the pretzels. Ooh, these ones are just like perfectly salted, honestly. I nailed it. Ugh. But usually they're too salty for me. I will admit to that one. Hmm. Cooper. Cooper. Come here, buddy. This cheese sauce would be really good with Velveeta, too. Mmm. You managed to get ones that are so salty. Really? But y'all, these are good. <laughs> Bring this out. Clog my arteries. Who needs them anyway? That's fair, right? We don't need those. Who needs them? Um, to store these, I am going to use this because it looks large enough. And I don't have gallon bags anymore. I used the last one. I don't know where Cooper is. Kirsten, thanks. Hi. They taste delicious. They really do. I'm pretty impressed. Um, these are going to heat up beautifully, though. Look at how amazing those look. I am so excited. Ugh. The big pieces of... Uh, that is pretzel salt. Oh, you love the big pieces that is pretzel salt? Oh, like you love the, the big chunks of those? Like if you get ones that are chunkier? I'm so proud. Um, proof your dough for up to a day for the instance. The bakery worked for hot proofed around 10 minutes that cold proofed overnight. Really? Did that help? I wonder what that does. That's interesting. Alexa, stop. How does that work? Ooh, we did it again, beans. I don't like mine to be super salty. Like just a little bit salty. Look at how good those are, y'all. Oh, yeah. Hey. <laughs> that's pretty if you that's pretty awesome if you ask me. Um, do not perceive my full garbage can. <laughs> I forgot to take it out this morning. I know I like the one with the legs. I think he's beautiful. Look at him. I want to try one like Oh, they're nice and springy too. They're pretty good. Season, uh, everything season pretzel dogs. <sighs> Ooh, pretzel dogs? Now I'm interested in that. Oh, I left my oven open. Hello. It's fine. I am gonna, like, bump the heat down to 350. There it is. I had to learn how to do it. I had forgot to hit the bake button again. Um, hi, Kev. How are you? You're rude for looking so good. You're rude for looking so good. Mm. How you doing, baby? <clears throat> I hope you're doing good. Airy, uh, less for more airy dough. So also a tiny bit of so souring through the dough. Oh, I love them when they're like a little bit like tangy. That sounds really good. Really? I'll have to like look into that and maybe I can become like a professional pretzel maker. Oh, you fell asleep. Oh, you fell asleep in front of the TV. So about to go to bed. I love you. I hope you're doing good. How are you? How are you feeling? Mm, Michael's lemonade. So good. I stole it. I'm going to do a little cleanup and then we're going to make peanut butter cookies, you guys. Peanut butter cookies. I also can throw this parchment paper away. little bit of clean up um you got your work back good I'm so glad were you able to like recover it or did you just like go back and do it do it kind of thing oh but your brain's like dead oh I feel you I'm so sorry Kaz my heart oh you redid it oh I feel so bad gosh darn it that really makes me feel terrible 
eat some Oreos for dinner because I'm a doll. Yes, I will. I will cook for you, Cassie. I'm honestly game for that. Real talk. I don't know where Cooper went or if Michael honestly might have taken him somewhere. Because I don't know if he like left because I knew he was going to go to his parents' house or if he's upstairs sleeping because I don't know. A wild Ahsoka. She was carrying like a little twisty tie thing. <laughs> Ahsoka. Hey. Ahsoka. <laughs> she fetches sometimes. We'll have to see if she actually does it. Uh, for pretzel shop first. Right, exactly. <laughs> Tell him to throw twist. No, we do, we do our own twist in here. I'm just kidding. <laughs> we make our own twists with our own noises. Don't mind me, Beans. I'm going to do a little bit of cleaning just to make way for things that I won't use um, while making my, uh, what's it called? My cookies, because I don't have, like, a lot of, <clears throat> how do I want to put it? I don't have a lot of room or a lot of extra stuff and room, I should say. Like, all of the above, honestly. So, I might have to wash that bowl that I just put on the bottom, but we will cross that bridge when we come to it. Because I have some other nesting bowls up in my cabinet, too, which isn't that bad. It's weird having you guys, like, see me do things in my house, like, chores like this. Like, what is this? Like, what are we doing? <laughs> it feels intimate. Just housework with Seth. It's like a good cleaning session or something. Would you look at that? Um... Hi, Janie, how are you? Welcome on in. I'm glad to see ya. I'm gonna grab, <coughs> excuse me, a container for my cheese sauce. <coughs> my favorite food, I love chicken pot pie so much. I make everything from scratch to the filling to the, uh, to the crust, 100% from scratch, and I love it. It is one of my favorite foods to make and eat. It's definitely a labor of love, um, but I'm actually quite good at making the crust. I picked it up from my mother, and my mom does a really, really, really good job. What's every, like, I know I can't read it right now, but you guys, um, you know, actually, if there's a food that you guys want to see me try to make that we could potentially try to make together on stream... Um, what would it be? Because I know I want to do another baking stream. Maybe I'll try to do one in May for like St. Jude or something. <sighs> Cassie, get off the counter. Wait, what? Aka, thank you. I must get going to throw together some dinner. Thank you so much for hanging out today. I really appreciate you, Aka. I know you want a pretzel closer. I saved some for you. These ones are still pretty warm. <laughs> uh, maybe bagels. Oh, that would be fun. <gasps> Big Pat. Ooh. That'd be an interesting one, actually. I never even, like, considered trying that. Because to me, like, you just go to the store and you buy bagels, right? But, like, duh, you can make it. That'd be kind of cool. Also, hi, Big Pat. Welcome on in. I'm cleaning up a little bit, and then we're going to make some peanut butter cookies. And maybe I'll start the dough to uh, my cookie batter for chocolate chip cookies because that is to sit in the fridge for like 24 hours. Uh, boil. Yeah, you boil bagels. You do. Just kind of like we did with our, uh, I don't know for how long, but we did something very similar to that. We boiled our, uh, um, our pretzels for like a whole, um, like 30, 20 to 30 seconds. I did them for like 25 because I'm a rebel. So I'm just going to let that in there. It's a little hot, so I'm going to cool that down a little bit. Um, 
Oh, I'll make apple crisp. Cora, I'll see you soon. Thank you. Apple crisp is so good. This pan is like pretty good, actually. I should have big brained. I like to make all the dishes, though. Um, I should have just made this dip <coughs> in a little container here instead. But I did not brain that properly. I was just trying to make it pretty, and then I didn't even take a picture. Oh! <laughs> You'd, like, need a chair to hop up on the counter, right? You probably would, though. Short arms, short legs, just all short. Sit on tables and desks all the time and the floor. I really sit in chairs. I think sitting in chairs is overrated. But also, um, Michael's, it took Michael's family a little bit of adjusting. Um, because if we're having like a gathering or something, I might sit on the couch, but I'm going to sit cross-legged on the floor. It's just like easier on my hips and stuff. Especially when I'm having an endo flare-up. And my, his dad is like, are you okay? Do you not feel welcome? And I'm like, no, like, I want to sit on the floor. I promise you. I just like sitting on the floor. But I agree. Sitting in actual chairs is, like, absolutely overrated. Thousand percent overrated. Okay, I got my mustard dip that I'm going to put away. Right, Lace? Pe Why do people think it's weird? I'm like, I, I just want to sit on the floor. We're totally fine. Work has made you this way, huh? <laughs> no such thing as chairs, right? I am with you there. I know, like, I feel, I feel like, it, no pun intended, I feel more, like, grounded on the floor. You know? I can't describe it. Like, I feel more secure on the floor. Oh, it's more good. Uh, it's more comfortable. I get better back support. Oh, really? Like if you lean up against something, maybe? Because that's totally valid, too. Kara, oh, for like, so you don't sit on the floor because it takes you a lot of work. That makes a lot of sense, too. It does. Ooh, we got sharp things. Be careful. Cha cha. I'm gonna stab stuff. I'm gonna get stabby in here, kids. Welcome to cleaning. ADHD with Zeph. He's like, I touch one thing, put it somewhere, and then eventually put it in the dishwasher. <laughs> oh, I hate my brain sometimes. <laughs> oh, a lot. Oh, a lot of couches are too deep for you. Ah, right. Like, I don't really like couches if they're super deep either. I really don't. I'm like, not a fan of it. It's like, too difficult to get in and out of for the most part. I think it's super valid. So I do need this one cup thing because I need peanut butter and I need sugar. <laughs> At least for the cookies I'm going to be making in just a sec here. I need to rinse that out because it was only flour. Pat it dry. Uh, cats can almost be cats. We like to be up high. That's, I mean, valid. Very valid stuff, right? Do a little bit of wipey wipe on that. Oh, you're a shorty. Ah, you hate your feet hanging. I hate high top chairs. You know, like the bar height chairs? I hate bar stools for some reason. Like, I don't know. I think they're really uncomfortable. They like pinch your thighs and stuff on the, you know, on your, behind your knees. Plus, I always feel like they're super small as well. Like, why are they so small? Does anyone else notice that too? Like, your girl's butt is big enough, right? Oh, it totally does. Hi, Teeny. I love you. Congratulations, by the way. I freaking love you. I'm so proud of you. Y'all have no idea. Teeny, so what, is this? what does this mean? Do you want to share with the class? I am going to hype you up today. I meant to say hi. Short girl probs. I sat on a high top once during a meeting. I was tall as everyone knows I was standing. <laughs> Your iconic Ikea chair. I think I know exactly. Are you talking about like the wing back one that they have? It comes in like a mustard color. Is that the one? Um... 
So Teeny is kind of cool. So Teeny can officially now legally fly a multi-engine aircraft. I think that's pretty awesome. Teeny is really cool. Teeny is cooler than anyone. I just said it. <laughs> Look at my bottom. Oh, they smell like pretzels too. That's because they are. Michael, I think, might be upstairs asleep or he went to his parents' house and I don't know which. Um, I saw that he went this way, but I don't even know the door. And sometimes he takes Cooper with him. These are so golden, y'all. Uh, <laughs> they're so good. The pretzels look really good. Yes! Thank you, Misty. I'm going to let them, like, so they don't get chewy. I'm going to leave them open air, and I'm going to put them back here to cool a little longer. But, God! I'm so proud of myself right now. Y'all, this is the first time I've done this. So, if you're thinking about trying something new... Do it. Why not? I'm so I'm so freaking excited for you. <laughs> Does this mean you can fly? Can you fly passenger planes yet? Are you at that point yet? Oh, the wood frame hoeing chair is so comfy. Oh my god, I love it. I really want like the wing back one though. Um, yes. Pick you up at Sydney Airport and we'll pick. <laughs> you need to finish your commercial. You are like so close though. You're getting there. I'm so excited to do Yes, you will be. Then you can just like swing by my house, right? That's how that works. <laughs> Aw, I'm so proud of you and your accomplishments. You have no idea. I know, right? Like when can when can we have like uh um a private mean bean like jet? I'm joking. Um, I would never want to have that much money. I don't, hello, ma'am, this is a cooking stream. I'm not joking. We all pitch in. That's fair. Ma'am, you are the most beautiful cat. Oh, you have your written test two weeks today. Eee, look at you. Hi, unicorn. Hi, Big Pat. Her name is Ahsoka. She's purring. She's honestly not doing too bad right now, too. I know she's so pretty. She is nine and a half pounds. She's as big as she's going to get, I think. She just had a vet appointment today. Uh, an RA that was a pilot, and she would fly from Metro Detroit up to school in the UP. What? Just like a casual, you know, her tail it is. Um, that is a trait of, what kind of cat is it? Um, chartreux. So the French version of a gray kitty. It's a chartreux trait. But she has a stripy tail. I love it. It's so cute. The rest of her is solid. She's not happy right now, but she's like, look at her toes. <laughs> Baby girl, I love you. Okay, bye. Go see you later. Go play somewhere else. <laughs> they released her name and there's a GoFundMe out now. Wait, what? Oh, and the plant friend, she can feel her legs slightly. <gasps> That's so exciting because you said uh, she was in an accident, right? Plane related stuff. <gasps> and the boots. Hi! Hi, Unicorn. How are you, by the way? <clears throat> oh, my God. Teeny, I still can't believe that, that that makes me so sad, though. I'm good, Unicorn. Thank you. We made pretzels. We're going to make cookies. How you doing? Welcome on in. Hope you're having a beautiful day. I'm slowly ADHD cleaning up. You know, everything we do here is slow. But it's all right. I'm going to get myself a nice warm sponge. Mm, spongy. Oh, wait. Should I say moist, Cassie? <coughs> oh, so thankful. I'm very thankful, too. Uh, living room lounge. You can see the... <laughs> you can see him, right? There's barely... There are water bowls right there. Hi, Kibber. 
He got a microchip today. Um, hi, baby boy. I don't know if you could hear him, but he, I think he chirped at me. We gonna make some cookies. Because my dad's uh, benefit fundraiser is this weekend. So these cookies are going to be for that. Oh, <laughs> I'm seriously so thankful for you too, Teeny. Um, that she is doing super well. As well as she can right now. Communicate with the doctors. That's so huge. Oh my god. Speedy, safe recovery. Manifesting it. Table cleaning ASMR. Even though you can't hear it, uh, visual ASMR, I guess, maybe. <laughs> Uh, your new table when you cook normally, right? They, uh, yeah, you know, the cats definitely try to jump onto the countertops. We try to teach them not to. I want to get, um, some, like, mountable shelves and things, uh, to help, like, offer more areas where they can climb and everything. It's honestly my goal, though. Nice and clean. Nice and clean. Look at that. I really want a Tammy apron, you guys. I'm going to get one. I'm going to order one after stream. It's going to happen. Peanut blubber. Sugar. <coughs> and eggs. I was like, oh, God, I hope we have eggs. Otherwise, I would have been real sad. We'd have to get creative. You can see my ADHD like really come forth here because I did not <laughs> close the dishwasher at all. Not even a little bit. Okay. Ooh, there's cheese poops in here. Okay, so I'm going to mix and bowls over here. So we're going to do the biggest mix and bowl out of these nesting boys. And I have my electric mixer. Um, <coughs> sorry, you took all the cereal and cracker boxes we had lined on the edge. They weren't in the kitchen. Uh, they would fall and she got scared. Oh my God. I feel like our cats would either, that would either work for them or it just, they would just be like, oh, whatever. I don't know which. I guess there's one way to find out also. I really hope that I have an extra outlet here, like a spot so I can hook in my thingy, my mixer. I'm behind my computer setup, so you have to give me a little bit here. Um, uh, the, sh the cord is going to be like way back here, but I think I should be okay. Hi, Raddy, how are you? Okay, so it works. Um, double-sided tape or bubble wrap would work well. Ooh, right. Um, yeah, or tinfoil, but Ahsoka would be, like, too comfortable with the tinfoil thing, I think, at this point. She plays with stuff. Oh, oh, your mom used tinfoil, right, nerd? Ooh, we get the new jar of peanut butter. I'm so excited. I did this to the mayonnaise earlier. I feel like you guys get, like... A front row seat to my intrusive thoughts. Do not perceive me. I'm sorry for using my teeth, but my finger strength really isn't that good. So sorry. Um, still a cat, right? <laughs> Okay, intrusive thoughts gone. <laughs> I'm like, Ugh. 
must do it. Okay, so my bull. Perceiving Missy, how dare you? How dare you, Misty? These are the easiest peanut butter cookies ever. My mom was making them when I was little. I grew up with them, and I have it memorized in my head. So, I just laughed so hard at that. Wait, laughed at what? <laughs> Wait, what did I do? <laughs> what did I do, Cassie? I'm going to double this batch, and I'm going to regret it. But we're going for a bake sale, okay? Um... They're a bake sale for my dad, so I'm going to make all of the peanut butter cookies. All the squeezies of the peanut butter. <laughs> so, one cup of sugar. So, we're going to do two cups of sugar. You can squeeze my peanut butter if you want, Misty. That sounds very nice. And also not good out of context, so I'm sorry for that. Um, so, we have two cups of sugar. <laughs> yeah, squeeze my peanut butter. Mm. I'm super sorry. And then uh, my least favorite part, which is peanut butter. <sighs> because it's annoying and it gets stuck to everything. And I hate it. And you gotta get a rubber spatula thingy. Aw, made the recipe with your mom, right? Yeah, back in the 90s, back in the good old days. A strip of water on plastic wrap that was taped down because if I cast this by water, jump wave stepped on it. <gasps> Wait, dancer, that's genius. I'm going to try that with the water, actually. Because the noise or like knocking things over won't bother them, but I think the water might. Oh my god, you just pushed the peanut butter out. Oh, that'd be so good. Like, I know I miss, but I also I don't miss the 90s as well. I am with you. Right? Unless your cat likes water. I swear that that would be, like, the moment where we discovered that they liked water. Or that they liked water. It doesn't have to be, like, 100% perfect. But then my least favorite part right here. So you can see, like, pretty close. And I just go. <sighs> oh, yes. Um, right, they'll start using it as a slip and slide. With my luck, they would. Happy for those kids, but I miss the feel of the 90s, right? I know I'm way happier now than I ever was. Um, growing up for sure. I am matching my spatula. That's so funny. I have a purple and a red one. And I just picked that one out. But yeah. Today's apparently just a purple day now, isn't it, Unicorn? I like it. Peanut bubber. I love peanut bubber. It's so good. And you're like, what am I supposed to do with this? Okay. I am going to put this over here because I don't feel like getting peanut bubber all over everything. So we got uh, two cups of sugar, two cups of peanut butter. Um, my oven is preheated at 350. Eight to nine minutes. I'm gonna try eight minutes because I never, I have never baked in this oven. So I don't know if it's gonna be hot. I don't know if it's gonna run cold, but we're gonna try. Just collapse. Oh, wait, that's big brain. It, like, that actually might work. I wonder if it would get, like, stuck in the sides, though, because it's kind of like an edge, you see? Like, right there. But I should try that next time. That's big brain, actually, Katara. Ooh. I really like that. I'm going to wash my hands because peanut butter all over them. Oh my god, it's already eight. Oh my god. <gasps> Time flies so fast, y'all. I'm having way too much fun with this. <coughs> uh, do you do brown sugar? I've never done brown sugar before. I can't say. I also know that uh, sugar substitutes typically do not work. Um, because they just need, because it's part of the binder. 
if that makes sense. But you could try brown sugar. I've never done it before, though. You'll have to let me know, Ratty. What's going on? So two cups of sugar. So it's one cup of sugar, one cup of peanut butter, one egg is what it is. That's it. So I'm doubling it. So it's two, two, and two. Oh, hello. Two little eggies all up in here. Um, baking them on parchment paper lined uh, pans. They will not look very brown at all. Don't bake them for more than like eight to nine minutes. They will not look done. Let them cool completely and then remove them from the pan. The best gosh darn cookies you will ever have, I swear. And they're technically gluten free. Yep, this this is the flourless re recipe. Yep, it has uh, sugar, peanut butter, and eggs. But it's just enough to cook the eggs. Technically, that's all it is. You're just baking it for that. Um. Yeah, I wonder if you could try like doing brown sugar. Now I'm just curious. They'd probably be like really delicious. Right, they'd probably, ooh, that would be good, like a more caramel taste. That wouldn't be that bad, actually. I'm real short on my cord, <coughs> but I'm going to go here. I should have kept my spatula. Because I need it. I might do some jelly ones too. Hi, Bubble. Thank you for the lurk. I appreciate you. I do need my spatula. I shouldn't have put it in the water, but I did. So I'm going to dirty another dish because that's what we do in this house, right? Jelly ones? Yes. Okay, so like basically um you these are ones like the peanut butter cookies you crisscross them on the top to like flatten them out and because they don't really spread as uh, so you can have to like help it but um you do that but instead you like do your thumb and then you put like a little bit of jelly in it and then you bake them and it tastes just like a peanut butter and jelly like a sandwich and it's so good oops Hello. Like half and half because I have a, a caster sugar left. Oh, maybe you could try it, right? Hello, little mixer. You can do this. This hand mixture has been with me since I was like 18. She's seen some stuff, okay? All right. It'll look like this, but trust. It's so good. Mm. Fun fact, in baking, the thing that is more likely to get you sick is the flour and not the egg. Sounds amazing. Lace, right? Nerd art actually did that. So Hi, Ro. Hey, how the heck are you? Welcome to the Bean Garden. Thank you for following. Welcome on in. Never seen it. I'm into craft peanut butter. <coughs> Wait, what? Craft peanut butter? They make that? I just use Jif because, yeah, I don't know. I grew up on great value, but then they just had a sale, and I've just been doing Jif ever since, I guess. My pretzels are cool, so I am going to put these in the fridge. Look at that! They were so cute, you guys. I feel like an old lady with my old lady, like, kitchenware stuff. I'm an old lady. I'm 30. Putting it in the fridge. Okay, so. 
The jars have little bears on them. What? I've never heard of that. Like Jif. <coughs> oh, simply Jif, right? Not bad. Not bad. Simply Jif is like where they don't add anything else, like no sugar or anything else, right? I think hands look purple, right? <laughs> they kind of do a little bit. They don't look purple in real life. Oh, yeah, they do look purple. That's weird. Yeah, no. Uh, baking things are going to randomly bake. Nice. I'm so excited, Shadow. That's so good. I hope that comes for you soon. It's exciting being able to bake. I love it. I really do. Also, I have this round tablespoon that's going to work better. I have it in my coffee over here, so I'm just going to like wash it off real quick. Get all the coffee stuff off it. Um... Oh, Dawn dish soap. Hello. Just a little bit. Just a boop. Just a boop of Dawn dish soap. Get all the coffee oils off of it mostly. And then just dry it off and be good with it. Craft peanut butter. I didn't know that. Um, Where was I washing with cold water? With wet lace. With what? They're much smaller in the U.S. ones, too. <coughs> oh, it's healthier for you. Ah, the Simply Jif. Yep. Yeah, I didn't, I've never heard of Kraft peanut butter. Let's look that up really quick. I'm curious. Kraft peanut butter. Oh, what the heck? I've never heard of that before. I've literally never seen that. It's a Canadian brand. That's so weird. Huh. I don't know what screen it's going to show. There we go. Like that. Huh. Yeah, I've never... No, not in not a day in my life have I ever seen that. Woo! Twitchception, right? <laughs> okay. So um, what I like to do makes it more consistent. Oop, I got to get a fork too. Makes it, hello, makes it a little more consistent. It got stuck in the drawer. That was like the weirdest thing that's ever happened to me. Um, I like to use a tablespoon for my little dollops here. So, got your tablespoon. My round one works best. Just kind of go whoop like that. And then right here. And then you ball it up. And I am actually going to move my camera so you guys can see that there. Oh, the Target brand. Oh, it tastes the closest that you found. So like the, just like the normal Target brand, you mean? Like their in-house brand. So I got a little peanut butter. I don't have a cookie dropper thingy. This works. I probably spread them like too much across, like too much far, like far apart, but I'd rather have a little bit more room than none. So about like an inch, maybe two inches apart, almost. You kind of just like smash it in. Pop it right out. Got a little cookie ball. What are your guys' favorite baked goods? Like out of anything that you guys have. So I can go over here so you guys can see my face while I'm doing this. Angela's just like, yes. <laughs> focaccia bread is your favorite? I can't say that I ever had focaccia bread. Used to be Boston cream donuts. Oh my God. Uh, peanut butter cookies. I can taste them watching. I, I never get to make cookies. End up eating the dough before baking, right? Twill cookie. What's a twill cookie? Twill it to be a good one. Possibly. Also cake, like all of it, thanks. Ah, uh, cupcakes. Cupcakes are delicious. What kind of cupcakes do you like, coconut? Chocolate chip cookies. I make a pretty solid, like pretty good chocolate chip cookie. Like a, a chewy chocolate chip cookie, I think. That's something that I'm going to be making. I think, oh shoot. I forgot to pull out the butter because <laughs> it has to be room temperature. The kashi is honestly pretty easy. Just got to make it in a day in advance before baking, right? 
so because it has to like meld and stuff chocolate mostly nice i like it oatmeal cream pies oh those are so good Oh, pretty chat. Yes, Mr. Kipper. He, uh, they're, right now their food is on the mini fridge. So he's on the mini fridge just sniffing around. Oh, it has to, oh, so it has to get like a ton of air bubbles. Okay, that makes sense though. Right? I see. Does it like ferment almost? Now, you know, after doing this like pretzel thing, I am really interested in doing more of the like bread things like making homemade bread or bread like stuff raised stuff uh it has yeast in it so you have to put that uh oh so you have to let it do its job okay makes sense right be so cool i think i'm gonna do uh because we're gonna raise money for saint jude next month i think i want to do something like a baking stream maybe you guys can get me to dress up like a pickle again budget bites that i love post it in discord for sure go right ahead please do you miss your cat i had to go to town for a bit and had to leave him and my doggo at home uh with a couple people taking him out oh I know it's so hard when you're not by your animals, though. It really is. I'm so sorry about that. I hope you get to see your little pupper really soon. So this is a double batch of these cookies, by the way, y'all. It makes a lot, and they're very rich. I will say that. Very, very, very rich cookies. You can see it's literally just peanut butter, sugar, and egg. <laughs> and the egg is mostly the binder to kind of like bring it all together. So when you bake it, it's just cooking the egg to make sure it's not raw. And then you're good. And that kind of get the sugar to melt a little bit. But you blend it until it's just mixed. And then that's kind of it. I'm going to move all these balls up. We're making lots of balls today. We love balls. <laughs> Very good. Yay, St. Jude, right, Cassie? I know I freaking love St. Jude. <clears throat> they are incredible. They do so much for cancer research. All right, so we got balls. So what you need to do now is I like to take this and kind of get it all like oiled up and everything from these. And then you dunk it in the sugar and you just crisscross like that, just gently. Brother was there quite a bit during his childhood. He turned 32 on Sunday. Oh, happy belated birthday to him, Cassie. I hope everything's going well. With that. 30 heckin' two. That is wild. Going home tomorrow so I get to be with them again, but it's going to be weird as I've been living with my boyfriend the last six months and grown into use him being there all the time, but he's staying out of town to finish his Honda Goldwing. Oh, fixing it. So it's either going to be missing someone for a couple days. Aww. I hope that goes quick though, Shadow. I do. I remember how hard it was when my boyfriend and I weren't living together. I was also living alone and like not doing a lot of social stuff. That was hard. Like, square in the middle of the pandemic, too. <clears throat> that was rough. Definitely, like, a different level of anxiety and loneliness than I ever experienced, personally, in my, my adult life, at least. They had any weird stuff. Ooh, so, these are so. such cute little cookies, Shadow. How the heck are you? Welcome on in. Thank you so much for the follow. I stream a lot of Sims. Um, baking is kind of something that we do sometimes, but Sims is our thing. Working, cuddling with your dog so it should go fast. Aww. That's good, though. That's so good. I like it. All right. We've got a sheet of cookies. They go pretty quick, honestly. These ones really do. 
And most people have these ingredients in their house. So I'm just going to pop these right in the oven. Right there, we're going to do eight minutes. All right, we got eight minutes. Hi, Tootie, how you doing? Welcome on in. We made pre hello, sir. Tootie, welcome. We're working on cookies now. PBJ, yeah, I think we're gonna do some PBJ. My paper's over here. Oh, you're confused on how you can smell the cookies. <laughs> you know, the brain is a really powerful thing. I hope it goes fast. We have to do something similar with our kitty when we moved. It was so sweet to get him back. Hoping for fast days until you're reunited. I know, right? Hoping, I'm praying for the fast ones for you too. Oh, from the gymnastics center. That's good. That's good. I hope it was a good night. So fun. Yeah, my dad's benefit is on Friday. And I'm like, I got to make some cookies. So I was like, you know what? We're already doing a baking stream. Like, so I'm just going to make them with you guys. Because why not? Um, I am going to do something really quick though. Recipes. I got to find my, my cookie recipe though. Cause I think it's like unsalted butter, but you have to leave it at room temperature. And I, I'm just going to make the dough though. Ah, thank you. It's actually one of ones that like from Michael's work. I don't know, like, I don't know, like, what brand it is, but <laughs> it's, <coughs> it's one of his work-issued ones that he used, like, in his office and stuff. It's not bad. It's pretty good. It's, it's wireless, and it's perfect for, like, these baking streams and stuff, right? Like, where I'm up and moving around and not wanting to be tethered with a wire. It's nice. So these are three ingredient peanut butter cookies that I'm making y'all you guys don't know um it's one cup of sugar one cup of peanut butter and one egg you blend it all together and then on parchment paper like you see here I'm doing one tablespoon balls just like this I'm spacing them about inch to two inch ish apart two inches I feel like is a good one like a good estimate. And, um, hi, Michael. Did you have a nap? Oh, <laughs> I thought you were gone. <laughs> I'm making peanut butter cookies. Uh, so parchment paper, and then you kind of ball them up. And then you crisscross them, like with a sugared fork. Bake them at 350 for eight to nine minutes. They will not look done. But I promise you they will be if you let them cool. Uh, oh, with about egg? Really? But without egg, what do you use? Wait, where is Cooper? Cooper! I have not You made them with any other nut butter. Hi! Come here, Cooper! Hi, baby! Hi! Are you a good boy? I don't have anything. Hi, baby! Cooper! Hi, baby! I'm not petting him. <laughs> But I kind of did. <laughs> Sugar or erythritol and peanut butter. Ah, does it work? Because, like, uh, with the binding and everything, it might be a different texture. Uh, Toady, he is a cockapoo. He is such a cute little guy. I didn't touch him with my hands. I touched him kind of, like, with the sides of my wrists. <sighs> but he's adorable, though. Oh, you just yelled Cooper. Aw. <laughs> It's kind of like when you're on a road trip, you have to yell, cows, you know? You have to. It's the law. I think I wrote down this recipe, and I think it's pinned in the recipe section in Discord, I think. I yell, moo! <laughs> I like it. That's so fun. I need some lemonade in me. Mm. 
tangy. Oh, you thought he was bigger? Nope, he's a little guy. He's really little. He's like maybe 20 pounds, I think. You have to announce it to the car. You do. Even if it, even in Texas, we might have said it a lot, but we still said it exactly. I think it's worth it every time. The cows have to know how loved they are. Especially like being from Wisconsin, I get it. I'm kind of like in similar territory to you. The ho all the horse sightings get a pony. <laughs> look, cows. Look, ponies. Um, I yelled deer driving to a cheer competition, and my husband said, "Yes, honey, we hit it." Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> he did not understand at all. Lemoon, how the heck are you? Welcome to the Bean Garden. Nice to meet you. How you doing today? Oh my god, that's so funny. You do it with horses, right? <laughs> Right, right. If y'all are new here, my name is Zephyr and my pronouns are she, her. Um, we play The Sims. It's our primary thing, but sometimes we do baking streams. I made pretzels from scratch earlier. They were pretty gosh darn good. But here we are. Doing our own little thing here. Making some peanut butter cookies now. There's my schedule. 20 hecking uh cook them on one tray right i know that's why i i kind of like the like the the tablespoon baller thing because you can like get a lot of cookies on there we're gonna have like a little half sheet with like a couple of little cookies on it but that'll be okay all right so we're gonna go ahead take our fork so, so. Dipping in our sugar. Hi, Lemon. How the heck are you? Welcome to the Bean Garden. What's going on? Got to do our little Chrissy Crossy. So you got my sugared fork. I'm kind of sticking a little bit. Like I'm not picking up a lot of sugar for some reason. I'm kind of sticking. Oh, you keep forgetting to pick up peanut butter at the store, right? Michael goes through it a lot, though. He has, like, a peanut butter and jelly um, English muffin almost every day for breakfast. So he eats a lot more peanut butter than I do. I kind of go through, like, phases of things where I'll eat the heck out of something for a little while. And then I won't touch it for, like, a year. And then I'll remember it exists. It's kind of like bagels for me. I'm like, oh, yeah, bagels are a thing. And then I'll totally do that. <laughs> I'm going to make some jelly ones, y'all. Just a few, not a heck of a lot. I think I have some strawberry jelly in here. Also, by the way, getting a Lazy Susan for our fridge for some of the ingredients that we have in here, like the condiments and stuff, is absolutely big brain. But then this mayonnaise is way too big, so I gotta move that. Where am I? Here's my jelly. There we go. <clears throat> Alexa, stop. Um, hi, Deviant. So that was my timer, and Alexa, set a timer for one minute. A little bit longer. A little bit longer. Oh. <laughs> I do it the same. I eat every day for a week or two, and then not again for months. Right, Lace? Why are our brains like this? It's kind of interesting. Uh, no. Why? Oh, really? Oh, no, I, I can't hear anything with my headset on. Nah, stop running and hitting our windows! That was weird. But just don't, I don't, yeah. <sighs> right? Yeah, some kid just, like, ran by and smacked her window, I guess. I'm like, what are you doing? Get out of my, get, stop it! Don't do that to me! Hi, Stacy. How are you? Welcome on in. It's good to see you. I'm, uh, there we go. It was like saying zero on the thing on my timer. And then, I don't know, that was weird. So yeah, those are going to finish cooking. Alexa, stop um, on the pan. But you're going to let those just cool right there then. They do not look done at all. 
They will not look browned, but they will be done. Um, it's pretty awesome. Uh, so you say, all the ladies of the place <coughs> I temp at during busy weeks, <coughs> excuse me, um, requested more of my gingerbread cookies for Mother's Day. Gingerbread cookies are so good. I want some. Oh, Deviant, you said uh, Animal Crossing Amiibo cards are back in stock at Target and my friends in town, and I finally got to buy some. Two packs in each series, and I also had Dreamies on custom cards. What? That's so exciting. Look at you. That is really exciting. So I'm trying not to, like, get my nail imprint there, <laughs> but like, they look okay, I think. But this is basically just jelly. This is uh, Welsh's natural strawberry spread. And I am going to do just a little tiny dollop of it. Not a lot. Just like that. Look at that. I love it. It's so good. I make the gingerbread cookies from Sally's Baking Edition, though I add a secret ingredient to the icing. Oh, pumpkin spice ice pack. Look at you. Oh, it's so good, Toadie. With these specific peanut butter cookies, Nerd actually brought it up to us. They were like, you should try this. And then I'm like, take my money. Let's do it. You just add like a little bit right there. Save the game, right? Honestly. I'm going to make another row. Heck it. We're going to go for it, Beans. You just smush them with your finger. And then you take a little bit of jelly and then put it right in the hole. Mmm. Stacey, I'm glad you like it. Thank you. I can't wait until we save up some money to do some painting and everything. I'm really excited for it. Um, jelly ones cook fine if you put more cookie on top to make the filled cookies. Uh, I don't know. These only cook for eight minutes, so probably not. They'd probably have to be really thin, if that makes sense. That would be really good. You could probably alter the cookies to do that. Ooh, would you look at that? All right, hopefully I did, a, there's quite a bit of jelly on some of these, but hopefully they won't run off. I guess we'll figure it out. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw these in for nine minutes. Alexa, set a timer for nine minutes. Sorry about that, guys. Ooh, those are still very soft. Okay, I gotta move those. My oven might be cool now that I'm looking at it, actually. Is my electric oven really cooked things? And maybe I should like cook these for a little bit longer? My gut tells me yes. Because I don't think my oven is as hot as it says it is. I'm gonna put those back in. She is a nice cooking assistant, isn't she? I like her. She's so cute. Yeah, those cookies did not set up the way that they should have. But this is my first time baking anything in this kitchen, actually. Except for, like, the pretzels and that there. These cookies. But these cookies are a little bit uh, finicky, though. Hi, Tempest. How you doing? Welcome on in. It's so good to see you. Welcome on over. Happy Tuesday. Excuse me. Happy Tuesday. I can't wait to play some Sims tomorrow. I <laughs> am very excited. And then we're going to do trivia on Thursday. And then I'll see you guys on Monday because my dad's event is on uh, Sunday. Saturday, Sunday. Aw, your cat is sick. I'm so sorry. What the heck? Uh, do you know what's going on with it? It's always hard when your babies get sick, though. 
Um, many years ago, I saw a fresh baby fawn in the street. I stopped and said, where is your mother? Before I realized I had kids on. Um, and they stood up and said how cute it was. They were little ones. So we all watched the baby cross the street. Aww. <laughs> that is so sweet, though. I'm so sorry, though, Tempest. Oh, I feel so bad. It's always difficult when your little babies are sick. It really, really is. We just took Ahsoka and Kyber to the vet earlier. They had a little bit of wormy issues that were kind of starting. So we took care of that. We took good care of them, though. Sneezing, low appetite, and lethargic. She's going to the vet soon. She's my absolute best friend. Oh, I hope. I hope it's just like a little kitty cold or something. Maybe they'll be able to get her like a little amoxicillin or something like that. Or penicillin or whatever. I don't remember exactly what they give. But I hope that everything goes as well as it can for you, though, Tempest. I'm so sorry. Mm. I know. Poor little love. She's definitely not feeling good at all. Um, one thing that you might be able to do in the meantime is turn on your shower in your bathroom really hot and like steam up your bathroom and then just sit in there with her and let her like hold her and let her breathe because maybe it'll help with like the sneezing and the congestion and everything. Oh, I hope it's just a little cold or something though. <sighs> you know that I feel so much for you there, though, on that one. I made pretzels earlier. It was really good. I was really proud of the way that it turned out, though. Um, I can show you one. I got some pictures of it earlier. But they're like, they've been in the fridge. But I made some cheese sauce. And I made some pretzels and some beer cheese or some cheese or some mustard dip stuff came out beautiful right teeny you should do it but this camera looks a little better they turn out beautiful hey michael they turned out really good they're pretty good i love pretzels mmm bread <laughs> Bread. I'll do that. Me too. I can't imagine my life with her. I know, right? I know. It was it was really tough. Like all the stuff that I went through with Dave too. You're doing the best that you can, Tempest, for her little the little angel baby. You really are. <sighs> so now we just do the waiting game. I'm so excited. So one of the last things that happened in our decades challenge when we were playing The Sims yesterday um, so, so. was it was miserable, honestly, because we had the dad just die. Hi. <laughs> Thank you, Ghost. I appreciate it. Welcome on in. How the heck are you? My name's Zephyrin. Nice to meet you. We made the pretzels earlier, just like I showed. And then now I'm making peanut butter cookies. And now we're just kind of waiting. I'm drinking lemonade. Oh, a thousand milliliters of chocolate milk. Don't get a stomach ache again, spider. Because I remember you said you did something where you got a tummy ache. Chocolate milk is delicious, though. I don't blame you for wanting to drink that much of it, really. I don't know how much is on the timer because the timer really isn't like showing things properly. You saw Grim twice. Twice. Because sister died. Well, dad died and then sister died. So she was a teenager and she was having like a little mood swing thing, right? And they get like angry. She had like an angry mood swing. And she turned, she came home from school. She aged up into a young adult. She was enraged when she was a young adult, and then she just died. Uh, the other time that I drank too much chocolate milk. Oh, <laughs> be careful, Spider. I think, <coughs> <coughs> you know, history repeats itself. 
<laughs> what are you doing? We have a fatigue mat for some reason, but I'm bringing it out. I don't know where it came from, but like, it's weird and I'm, I'm here for it. Huh? You said from your work? Oh, it's from Michael's work. Nice. He's like a work at home, like office setup thing. <laughs> Oh, was the other time that you drank too much chocolate milk? Oh my god, that's funny. Uh, Sims 4 and the stretching came up because you play even though now your food and drink best of both worlds, right? Yes, we do baking streams sometimes. And we uh, we play a lot of Sims. Sims is like our bread and butter. Um, That's like 99% of what we play. We branch out, we play, we do a little bit of baking, some coloring, sometimes we do some artwork stuff. But on Thursday, I'm going to be doing so, so. Sims and Trivia. And then we're also going to be playing, uh, like, doing giveaways and stuff, too. So, like, packs and maybe merch. Maybe merch. Uh, Maddie, how the heck are you? Welcome to the Bean Garden. What's going on? Sometimes we color exactly. I like doing all the cozy things where you can just hang out. <laughs> Delicious history with strong bones, though, right? <laughs> <clears throat> I'm also fighting a sinus infection, so you have to excuse my coughing. Um, it's kind of obnoxious, but it's all good. Did I greet Maddie? Maddie, hi. Welcome. Welcome. Hi. Welcome on over. Nice to meet you. My name's Zephyrin. My pronouns are she, her. Unicorn. Thank you so much for the three gifted subs. That is so nice of you. Hi, Chi. Pretty good. Unicorn, thank you so much for being so nice. What the butt? <laughs> You're so kind. I don't know what to say. Chi, let me show you. Mm. I needed to do like be more aggressive in the first round of meeting, but then I figured it out after we kind of like roped them. But they turned out pretty cute. Look at my bottom, Chi. Observe. Observe me. I love them. I know. I make cool sound effects because I try to do the really cool thing where you like, you know, twist them. I was like, whoosh, 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 trying to do it. And you know it's authentic and good when that happens. Alexa, stop. My oven is not hot at all. Um, Alexa, set a timer for two minutes. Not hot, not even a little bit. And these are still cooling. I'm worried that these are going to turn out because, like, I did it for, like, 12 minutes. And they're, like, <sighs> yeah. My oven might not be hot, y'all. But it's good to know. Aw, Bobby, I'm sorry that you had a hard day, though. Chi, I hope your day is good. Welcome on back. Good to see you. Kitty looks like your kitty. Really, Shadow? Yeah, I don't know which one that was. Which one did you see? Was it gray or black? <clears throat> gray or black kitty cat. Sometimes we tell Cassidy to get off the counter so she's a cat. That's fair. Spider. Thank you for the lurk. Be careful. Don't drink too much chocolate milk. <laughs> it was Kyber. Ah. Kyber. Kyber. I don't know where he is. Kyber. That's Cooper. Are you cleaning up after me? Are you cleaning up after me? Come here. Hi, Bubby. You're a good boy. Hi. That's a good boy. Yes. A great community. Yay. Love it. That's Cooper. <laughs> I know. He's such a good boy. Yes. Smithers did have KFC today. I did. Was a good little lunch. Aw, Bobby. We play a lot of Sims if that's your thing. The new loading screen. Oh my god. I haven't pulled up the Sims yet today, but I've heard some things, right? Like, I don't know whether it's like negative or positive or whatever, but I've heard some things like about it and some screenshots. And I don't know why they keep changing the loading screen, though. Or the, the main screen. Alexa, stop. 
Hi, Kyber. <laughs> uh, oh, you watch The Sims a lot. Nice. Very cool. Yeah, that's like, that's pretty much what we do. Um, every once in a while we do this kind of stuff though. Uh, you hate it personally. Hate what? Oh, the new loading screen, right? Alexa, set a timer for two minutes. Hi, Jacques. Welcome back. How you doing? Good to see you. Oh, you recently uninstalled The Sims 4 due to taking up space as you never play. That makes a lot of sense. Like, especially if you never play it, you have to make room for things that, you know, that you do want to play. Especially if you don't have the hard drive space. Kyber is on my mat right now. Hi, Kibber. Good boy. Hi, buddy. Hi. Eva. You are a soggy. See, these are not, my oven is not hot, y'all. Not even a little bit. Like, I'm kind of like, whoa. Like, <laughs> these cookies are like a borderline almost done. I'm going to put them back in. It is what it is. Eva, there's soggy bottom loaf of bread. Time for my scheduled burn. <laughs> That's so weird. I wonder if there's like, because this is a new oven. We've done like pizzas, but I haven't baked anything else other than these pretzels or these cookies. Tiny human remember to wait until the two pressures and his mouth before turns it on toothpaste explosion. <laughs> <coughs> wait, that's so funny, Cassie. Really? So he had like the toothpaste on and turn it on. And then he's like, I got to do that. Like put it in his mouth and everything. That's super funny. Boyfriend wants a game, so I got it for him, and it freezes my computer because no space. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm calling the police. You asked for it. You asked for the burn. Go on. Do it. Also, um, <coughs> I got one of these, and I love it, and it makes me really happy. TikTok made me do it. <laughs> Alexa, stop. TikTok made me do it. Scrap mommy. They're so cute. When you do them in warm water, they get softer. But ha, uh, cold water makes it like harder. Scrub. Yeah, this, this is a scrub mommy. Scrub daddies are just the sponge, I think. No, scrub, scrub daddies are just this part, the foam. Like that. And then scrub mommies have the sponge on the on the end. You just got one too? Nice. Did you get the pink one? I've had it for a couple weeks. I've used it a handful of times. I just got to remember to do it now. Seriously. Alexa, set a timer for four minutes. I'm literally like, hi, Maddie. How are you? Welcome on in. I'm worried about like the element in our oven kind of thing. Sounds about right, right. Yep, the mommy does the more work. It's like, it's a little bit, you got the sponge and then also the, the scratchy part. Oh, thank you, Eva. These are, um, I think TJ Maxx is where we found them. So I like them because they're not like the full ones. They're just like the, the small ones. Like the, you don't need it to come down to here, in my opinion. That's like, at least with the way I cook, but. I can understand why you might, but, and then I also found these two, like the little yellow tallows to match them kind of thing. <coughs> oh, TJ Maxx is your everything. Scrub mommy. <laughs> I love it so much. Am I eating cookie dough? Absolutely. Mm. Mm. Your accent prone. That makes sense though. Cabinets, not just the dish to go up the wall. What are they, like, what are they, um, what are they used for? We haven't done anything with those ones yet. Um, but this over here, what we're going to do, there's, it's full of blankets right now, um, which is really cool. Because their living room's, like, right here. But, um, we're eventually going to make, like, little shelves and stuff in there. And that's where it'll be, like, a pantry space. 
but it's just wide open. And then this is miscellaneous stuff like lids, and then that is nothing because I'm too lazy to get a step ladder. But that's kind of what we have at the moment. Ah, right, they do go with the dishes. I was just on a yellow kick, I think, right? I think it's valid because yellow, I like, I basically am taking over um, for Spring Sims now because yellow is now my thing, not Steven. <laughs> Aw. Hmm. They do go with my dishes because I have a, um, I treated myself to brand new plates for the first time. Um, so we just bought this house, but I got yellow plates, like a really nice gold color. I know yellow is such a happy color. I'm with you, especially with how gosh darn gray and black our entire house is and white. <coughs> shallow will neither, <laughs> right? Shallow will never eat off these plates. Only purple for her, never yellow. Yellow is her enemy. See, right? I want to make orange my thing as much as they made those colors their thing. <laughs> Hi, Ridiculous. How are you? Wait, what? Yellow is apparently very cliche favorite color for bi people. What? I like orange, so it's like kind of there. Yellow is my second favorite, though. Mm hmm Oh, TJ Maxx is very expensive in Australia. Um, it's very little amount of stores. That makes sense, though. Like, I suppose a lot of the things are probably imported. Seriously, like, I need to paint my entire everything in orange for this to work. It's got to happen. Claiming it now. Okay, I think I keep checking on these cookies. I'm like, I know you're not supposed to open the oven. But these cookies have literally taken, like, 15 minutes. And usually they take, like, eight Good thing my oven's hot. Rigid power tools are orange. They are. They are. So it's black and decker, I think, too. Orange and black. One around the bloom closet would be a great place to put like, chemicals that go under the sink, the other cleaning stuff, like ironing stuff. Ooh, that's a good idea. Hello. Oh. Oh, yeah. Because, like, that has happened to me before, actually. <laughs> that has totally happened to me. Where it's like auto shut off. It's like, why isn't it cooking anymore? And then it's just off. Go figure. Alexa, stop. <sighs> a nice headless person, right? Wasn't it great? He's a very great headless person. No, <laughs> the camera was in front of your face. <laughs> See, you're not dumb. I miss you calling him dumb. I'm just kidding. He said it, not me. Fight. I'll fight you. We'll fight. <laughs> um, I. Uh, Thought you were either sleeping or at your parents' house, but if you want to warm up a pretzel, they're pretty good. I made some uh, bow cheese dip and then some cheese sauce as well. They're both pretty good. I'm not quite as good at bow cheese as your mom is because I just winged it. I think your mom probably does too, but... Oh... Sabotage. He said it might have been a slightly bad recipe. I think it's sabotage. What do you think? Yeah, yeah, Bobby. Uh, so this is like a whole circle thing. So like we have, it's it's what's called a four square house. So these houses really common in like the 1910s, um, all that kind of stuff. So it's all kind of like this circular floor plan. So we have, huh? like a free circle exactly um so there's this wall here and then the you can go into the living room and there's another room right over here so there's like two rooms right here cut in half basically and this is like the whole length of the house our house it's a pretty small house but you know i hope they taste like crap <laughs> rude <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty cool. And then upstairs, we have three little bedrooms and a bathroom. Um, yeah, it's a cute little house. It's a fir it's our first home together, so it's really, it's quite nice. Oh, yeah, that's Michael. It's my boyfriend. He woke up from his nappy nap with Cooper. I'm kind of jealous that you had a nap with Cooper, though. 
Oh, I'm sorry you had a headache, though. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. You had a headache yesterday, too, though. Trade-offs. Trade-offs, that's fair. <laughs> right? I am with you, too. I mean, today is the first day in, like, a week and a half that I have not had to take Tylenol for a headache. I have, like, a little bit, but it's. I think it's progress. I'm, I actually just realized that. Nap and then home baked goods, such a good day, right? Um, I make sure to spit on these cookies for you. Mm -hmm. oh, no, <laughs> oh, <laughs> Michael. <clears throat> they are they told my child's Michael name and I found they also have a boyfriend named Michael. They're nine. What? What? Oh my god, you are not prepared. Oh <laughs> Ooh, Misty! That's a lot. See, these are straight up just not baking. They're like warm, but they're not. Hmm. Good thing these are really easy cookies. I think, oh, I think I overcooked them now. <laughs> I forgot that they were in the oven. Watch out. Excuse me. <laughs> reverse, reverse. Okay, these ones are actually looking done though. I'm gonna move these around. Sorry, you're good. That was just a me maneuver. Um, I don't know. This is the first time I'm I'm doing anything with this oven, Jamie. So I really don't know. I'm gonna put these in again, but I'm just being really careful not to overbake them because they're actually for a bake sale. But I can always just recook these because they're really, really cheap to make. But yeah. These ones actually kind of swelled up a little bit. So maybe it's like 15 minutes in this oven. <sighs> they do look better on this one. Kay Brown says, hi, Michael. Anything about the Sims update? I know they did like a couple of updates. There's something with they core to the max with like a mirror. <clears throat> and something with like two other different... <laughs> um uh something with base game and then like a different pack but i don't 100 percent know two pans in there at once no it was even like a single pan eva um even i i did the first the other pan um for like nine or ten minutes and they still weren't cooked they were like barely even touched on the bottom Silly little screen facelift and a few new bug fixes, right? There was like not a lot, but they, I think the biggest thing that they probably did was um, a facelift on the, like the loading screen or the, the like the front page stream thing. Um, That's a puppy. It is a Cooper. Hi, Cooper Booper. Hi, baby boy. He's so cute. Aw, cowgirl, I'm glad you got gifted a sub. Thank you so much for your support, though, unicorn. Hi, Rogue. How are you? Welcome on in. Thank you. I'm really appreciative. Thank you. And the last six-year-old told her female, or last week the six-year-old told her female friend, her and her male friend, that she has crushes on them. Aw. <laughs> I love that. That's so cute. The toilet fix was everything. Wait, what? What was, wait, was there a toilet fix, Roka? What happened? What is this? I skimmed the notes at best because that's what I do. Um, hi, Shib. Welcome back. How are you? Welcome back. Good to see you. We're waiting. We're doing the waiting game. Um, I've been struggling with my oven to try to get it, like, to see how long I need to cook them for. Um, but yeah, hopefully these are not like completely overbaked. Oh, those are almost perfect. They should look just about like that. They caught a little more brown, a little bit too long, but they're like right there. So those aren't too bad. <coughs> Actually. Actually. Do they taste like crap? Okay. Michael said, yes, they taste like crap. In case y'all are wondering. My pretzels. Aw, thank you, Misty. A toilet that couldn't be repaired after it was pranked. They fixed that. Oh, unbreakable toilet was unfixable. Huh. Like, which toilet was that? Was it like a base game one? 
Thank you, Misty. They do look good. They're for my dad's bake sale for his event um, on Saturday, actually. So I'm making some cookies. Hopefully they stand up. I am taking the, I can't really show you guys over there, but I'm taking these and putting them on the, uh, on this dry or this cooling rack here. Cause I basically let them harden up, harden up just enough to where they, uh, they firmed up and then I can actually go ahead and just place them right on this baking sheet without having them fall apart on me. So just enough to cool because they are very soft cookies when they are warm because they're three ingredients. They're egg sugar and peanut butter. There's not a lot of binding going on with any flour, no gluten work or anything like that. And then these thumbprint ones are a little bit softer because they have like the well of jelly in the middle of them. I actually need to make my dad his, uh, cause there's this chocolate cake that he is really specifically fond of and I need to make that for him, like for him, him. So this pan is not hot anymore. It's a little warm, but not hot. Uh, icky, bricky toilet prank. Wait, what? Oh my God. <coughs> if it's unbreakable, how does it break? That's the prank, right? <laughs> also well of jelly in my middle. Same. I would love a well of jelly in the middle. Oh my God. Um, so we only have room for like three cookies. Do I just eat the dough or do I make cookies? <laughs> Why did I just keep this? Maybe we'll just eat the dough. Ooh, mega cookie. What'd you say? Yeah. So it's not a good idea. <laughs> Always eat the dough. But that hasn't stopped us before, Michael. He's like, isn't the raw egg? And I'm like, yeah, what about it? <laughs> um, up next, Zeph has food poisoning and dies. Not really, actually. That's, but yeah. I'm going to try to make a mega cookie for me. Because why not? Someone else admit it's fine. It's fine! <laughs> Oh, you fell asleep during your stream. Aw, I'm glad though. I, I love, I love doing that for people because I know my voice is really soothing for a lot of people. Exactly. Exactly. It's the flour. It's the flour because the flour is not cooked. Actually, if you want, if you want to make edible cookie dough, you can do things to leave out the egg, obviously, but uh, you need to cook the flour. Yep. Flour's got all sorts of poop and things in there. Mmm. They don't cook it. It's raw, straight in the field. There you go. How should I do this? I'm going to do like mega cookie. Mega cookie. It's like all cracked on the edges, but it's okay. Uh, comfort things. You're a comfort streamer. Oh, <laughs> I describe your streams with your business. Like it feels like a warm hug. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Y'all bring me up in therapy, but like, I mean, in a good way. That is the most wholesome thing. Not me gonna cry. <laughs> I hope in a good way. Oh, <laughs> stop. I know it's a flour cookie, right? It's got extra little punches on it. <sighs> I feel like I've become a real adult now that I know that, right? Like, it was kind of a, a brain breaking thing. I learned that in my food safety courses. They're like, it's actually the flour. And I'm like, I've been lied to. Oh, it is in a good way. It's a good, it's a good cry though. Kind of like, I feel like my job is being done properly. <laughs> Dang it. Cause all I want is to create a good, safe and inclusive environment for people. Right? Well, if you think about Kara, you can have 
over easy eggs or sunny side up eggs. It's still pretty raw, like pretty runny French omelets, pretty raw, right? I think these are done because they're finally puffing up a little bit. Oh my God, my heart. Oh, we all have. Oh, I love you guys. For realsies. I'm going to put this in the oven. We're going to see how much my mega cookie messes up. I squished it pretty flat, though. It's just big. Like, it's not bad. <clears throat> Alexa, set a timer for 10 minutes. I got to see how actually, like, how long it actually takes these to cook. Oh, now you want some cookies? Yes, come get some cookies. I got some cookies here. So these, um, they'll be, obviously, they'll be really soft, like, when you're cooking them and when they're, like, still pretty warm. But after, like, a day, they'll harden up really nice. I think those are actually really good. If you look at the bottom, that's about where you want it to be, where it's just a kiss of, like, caramel, like, where the sugars kind of just caramelize. You won't see, like, any browning on the edges. It'll all be on the bottom. So that's just what you want them to look like. Because they were, like, looking almost, like, too, like, wet almost on the bottom, you know? Like, they weren't cooking. And I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> it just steps backup timers. I'm so sorry. I should mute when I do that. I've been so bad. I love you, Eva. I'll see you later. Thank you so much for coming and hanging. I love you. I hope you have a good day tomorrow. But that's what it looks like on the inside. Tastes like crap. Honestly, though, like, if these are reject cookies, hi, Kibber. Oh, he loved blinking me and looking at me. Hold up. You guys can't see him, though. Um, I'll end up remaking them uh, to take for the bake sale. If they end up being like too crunchy or like not quite right. Which they might be a little bit too crunchy. Kibber. Hi, Kibber. Now you guys can see what he does. He, he's literally grabbing my hand and headbutting it. Or my foot. And y'all can see this is what he does to me when I'm streaming. And I don't want to like point it down towards my feet because I can't. But he literally like grabs on and rubs his head. And does this the whole time. And it's not like, oh, now he's rabbit kicking me, apparently. Apparently, we're, like, in a rabbit kick mood. Kyber, no. Hey, let go. Good boy. Usually, he doesn't rabbit kick. <laughs> but normally, he, like, grabs on and, like, aggressively, like, headbutts and stuff. But um, Kyber, I don't know what he's going to do right now. <laughs> he might be rabbit kicking. Hi, baby. He's making biscuits with his one paw, though. See, biscuits on everything. <sighs> As the cookies cool, you guys get to see Kyber. Kibber. <laughs> he's, he's a little frisky today, isn't he? <coughs> Hi, Cooper Pooper. Are you a good boy? Look at a baby. Hold on. I can show you guys. Cooper Pooper. Hi, baby. Hi, buddy. Bye, Teeny. Have a good day. Hi, Cooper Pooper. Good boy. <laughs> Kyber, what? <laughs> right? Hmm. 
Kyber. Ah, those are the cookies. <clears throat> yeah, they, they turn out pretty good though. But I think they might be a little too crunchy. Cooper Pooper? I did! I did call him Cooper Pooper. You got it, TDAC. How you doing? Mm. I can't show you guys what I'm doing. But I am stacking the cookies. You can kind of see a little bit of what I'm doing here. Yeah, the thumbprint ones look pretty good too. But these ones have to cool even more because the jelly is like so a little bit gelatinous. Open your mouth for cookies. Yum! Right? Crunchy cookie is good to drunk Dunkin' Milk. I'm with you. I wonder if I should still take these to the bake sale to sell. Because they're still pretty good, but they're just a little bit overcooked. Hi, Emma. How are you? Welcome on in. It's really good to see you again. Welcome back. These ones are still super light on the bottom. Hmm. You girls over it. They look really, they look really close to being done. Like really, really, really close. A little closer to like what they should look like. Cooper, go lay down. Go lay down, Bubby. He's like crumb cruising right now. There's a little bit of crumbs around like my feet, but not a heck of a lot. But you did pretty good at keeping things kind of clean, I think during that whole thing. So I'm gonna stack some of the thumbprints to make a little bit more room. I can put some of these on top of the other, like the regular ones, which won't be that bad. Cause I need to make quite a bit of room for some of these, um, these other peanut butter ones here. Uh -huh. This is that first first batch that went kind of weird. Hey, I can't see right now, but thank you for the host. What's going on? What's happening? Oh, wow! Ugh. Who's that? <gasps> Hi! Is that Mary? Mary, what's what's going on? I'm putting cookies over here. Hi! We got Mary's Milk Monsters. Welcome on over. Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome on in, Beans. Just chatting. What is going on today? Um, we made you glitch them in your on your end. Oh, <laughs> the raid! I swear to God, like the raid ones don't work most of the time. Um, they just work when they want cookies, right? We made peanut butter cookies, and we made soft pretzels earlier. So soft homemade pretzels. <gasps> Wait, stop! A goat farmer? Shut the heck up! <gasps> Beans, make sure you go follow. Wait. Stop it. That is so cute. Okay, please tell. A goat farmer? So, okay, so. please. Um, <laughs> I need to see. Mary, how the heck are you? Welcome on in. Thank you so much for picking us. Oh, that's so cool. <gasps> you re Oh, my God. You really weren't kidding. I am so excited. So, so. Oh, my God. Dottle, how the heck are you? Welcome to the bean garden. What's going on? And a baby goat. Ah, 13 goats. Oh my God. That is so cute. Thank you for picking us. That's so cool. Yeah, when is baby goat season? Um, I usually do the Sims, but we break off and do baking and coloring and art and sometimes like stuff like that sometimes too. You just happen to catch us on a special event day. Um, first time ever making homemade pretzels. They are pretty gosh darn cute. And then I made some peanut butter cookies as well. The three ingredient gluten-free ones. That is so sweet. Oh my God. That's so exciting. But my name is Zephyrin. Um, I'm a full-time live streamer. I play the Sims. That's my thing. My pronouns are she, her. Welcome on in. Just got real hangry like, <coughs> excuse me, <laughs> like you need it <laughs> in your life. <laughs> excuse me. I'm also fighting a sinus infection, so I have a cough. So you have to excuse me a second. Um, if I go into like a random coughing fit or decide to hack up a lung in your ear hole. Um, but Mary, it's really nice to meet you. Thank you so much for coming on in. How did you find us? 
I'm going to finish putting these on the little, little cooling rack over here. First time baking in my brand new kitchen. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. Panda, how the heck are you? Welcome on in. I'm so glad you're here. Need food in general. Oh, family friendly tag. Yes, yes. Pretzels. Yes. Um, uh, lye. Oh no, this one didn't do lye. This one was a baking soda and water, like boil bath for like 20 seconds. But we didn't do lye. Um, I know like a lot of bigger pretzel producers will do like lye baths and stuff too. Happy God, because like we had someone who actually made pretzels by hand for 30 years, just 12 years or something like that in here earlier. And they were like telling us about it. It was so cool. Doddle, right? I made a mustard dip and I made a homemade cheese sauce. So you are very welcome to, to come on in. Um, it's a little solidified right now, but it's cheesy and it is good. Mmm, cheese sauce, right? Bagel, I think bagels, I think it, the process might be similar. Like you get the bath to kind of get like the coat on it, you know, like that sheen. Alexa, stop. <gasps> oh no, oven mitt. I think so, right? Lion soap, exactly, and is used for pretzels. Yes, yeah, like apparently, um, it is really easy to accidentally make soap in the baking process when you use lye because all it takes is like what fat or something like that and then like the lye I was like science I like it <laughs> oh a last minute customer so dinner's late aww oh I hope he gets home soon my backup timer yep mine went off too thank you I'm gonna mute for a second and actually do like a couple more minutes I like how I turn to her like I'm looking at her. Um, yeah. When I talk to Alexa, I do. She didn't hear me that time. I'm okay. Um, made some soap with clarified butter and it worked. What? That's so cool. I suppose like um, I've heard of butter soaps, or, like honey soaps and stuff. Milk soaps. Because the fat in the, the milk. That makes sense probably really good for your skin that's awesome I say thank you I do I thank her as well it's kind of like knee jerk I also say sorry <laughs> but I also call her name sometimes that I don't say on stream um it's this it's five but like the middle one is like oval I also this is my first time baking in this oven we bought this house uh, not that long ago. And um, I think the oven itself runs cool. I think it does. Because usually I've been making these cookies, those peanut butter cookies, for like a really long time. And they take like eight minutes. And these have been in the oven for like 15 minutes. So I think something's weird. Um, only one time she told me it was rude and I called her name. What? She called, she called you rude. I use it in place of the oil and milk in place of water. That's awesome. Really? That's so cool. So like, what other kind of things do you do? Any, uh, oh gosh, I think there are some breeds of goats that do like fleece or, you know, wool or whatever the heck fur. I'm not sure the technical terms, but are there some, I think there are. Do you do anything like that where you make like yarns or anything? I love that. That makes me so excited. I love goats. Um, our oven runs cool. I wonder if newer ones tend to run cool, right? Um, this is our first new oven, so I have the, the one experience, right? Like, I was on electric for, like, eight years, but this stove, like, all these appliances were used. Um, but they're used, uh, like, because they came with the house, but they're nice. But I just, I don't know... If they're good, <laughs> that makes sense. Cashmere goat, that's it. Uh, yours are dairy goats. Ah, I like milk monsters. That's so funny. Prepping for a 10K. What's this? What is this? Educate me. I play The Sims and I bake. Mm. See these ones? Like they turned out good, but I think they're a little overcooked because I kind of forgot about them a little bit because I was like waiting and waiting more. Um, I don't. Wait, I do. 
I have a meat thermometer. Well, um, I don't know if it would work well because it is is for internal temps. So you can see like the little divot. If you look, there's like a little dimple. And that is where the best reading is on thermometers. You can see the dimple right there because you want to put it in at that point. Um, it is oven safe, it says on the thing, so yes. But I don't know if it would take like the temperature of the oven or if it has to be in something to be able to do it. But yeah, it says oven safe on it. And like the bottom right there. <laughs> oh, a 10K. Oh, I was thinking it was something go. Okay, 10K for like walking. Got it. Got it. Okay. Yes, I'm familiar with the 10K thing. Cashmere goat is um oven safe thermometer. I'm planning to do a 10K in May with chat. What? So like, are you going to do like an IRL stream where you like walk or run or whatever? That's awesome. A heat gun, right? That's good. Alexa, stop. That's so cool. All I see is a freckled arm. <laughs> see nothing else there, right? This one needs a little more time. Alexa, set a timer for four minutes. I should have muted again. I'm sorry, you guys. That is so cool, though. Well, Mary and pals, it is really nice to meet you. Thank you for picking us. So like a thermal thermometer, maybe? We, we have one, but Michael burnt out the battery because he was playing with the laser to play with the cats. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I were joking. <laughs> Babe, do we still have that thermal thermometer anywhere? Or the infrared one? Is the battery still burnt out because you're playing with the cats? Yep. He says, yep, proudly. <laughs> Aww. Sims uh, money expansion packs are on sale for 50% on the game packs or 30% off, right? They do they do uh, sales like that all the time. This is America, Janie. This is normal. This is like a large... Like a standard size they give you. <laughs> uh, one with a gimbal so it's not uh, so bouncy cam. Oh my god! Like a, All I can think of was like a chicken. You know? I don't know. My brain goes in weird places, Mary. <laughs> like a chicken. Oh, I was making some real good sound effects when I was trying to twirl my pretzels earlier. That was fun. Um, oh, it just move like that, right? Ah, I think they're, I think they're like inspired by chickens. Ooh, no, get a chicken and like carry it with you and like have it on the camera. I'm joking. That would be a nightmare. <laughs> chicken in a backpack. At some places that would be medium. That's a fair point. Is this a medium? I don't know. Or is it a large? I have no idea. But it's lemonade and it's delicious and I'm not mad about it. America, where everything is unnecessarily large. Basically. Huh? Me too. <laughs> Uga! Hi, Uga. Welcome on in. At a Whataburger, it's a regular. I have no what a heck of wood. I've never had Whataburger. I've heard of Whataburger. Oh, it, it is KFC. Okay, it's a large. I just like, yeah, I'll take this. I want a three-piece chicken tender in that because... I'm 30 and I like chicken tendies. They make me happy. Whataburger is in Texas and it's tasty. Yeah, I've heard. I think Michael's had Whataburger. Very Texas thing or at least a Southern thing, right? I think you're, no. Yeah, because I had a friend in Oklahoma who lived in Oklahoma. Um, and he was like, I got Whataburger today. Actually, he didn't talk like that at all, but he always had Whataburger. Our large sizes in Texas are alarming and huge. You know what they say. Everything in Texas is bigger or whatever or something. I think I just made that up. I don't know. Ah, oh, they're in Arizona as well. Got it. Got it. Huh. I'm really proud of my pretzels, you guys. I also don't feel like hungry at all because I had a pretzel and like a cookie. <laughs> I had line a pretty late lunch though. Larger than Texas is everything. Exactly. Everything is bigger. Um, 
a Whataburger girl to try it, right? Not all. I know I've never left the Midwest in the United States because I clearly live a really crazy lifestyle. Very exciting. Um, but yeah, wait, where's my other oven mitt? I think I moved it over here. Oh, you don't think you ever had, right? Um, where I'm from, we had Culver's. Look at this, my giant cookie. It's the one last cookie. That's it. <sighs> Oops, wrong thing. Oops. This is also Alexa, stop. Look at that. Oh, you were born and raised in Chicago. Ooh, I like that, right? Culver's was the best, right? Culver's is amazing. I like it. Michael's like, eh. He lived in the, like, where the first Culver's was. Um, where the, first, the very first Culver's, where everything started. He lived there for, like, a year and a half to two years. And that was, like, one of the only restaurants they had there. So he's like, I'm out. That's it. I don't want this anymore. Cheese curds? Ha. Huh? Right? I personally don't care for their cheese curds, though. I really don't. But then again, I also come from a land of all of the cheese curds. So we had like so many cheese curds to pick from. I know the butter burgers are freaking delicious, though. I'm with you. Holy heck, they are. Absolutely, yes, on that one. So, y'all, it is like 921, and we made pretzels and cookies today. Thank you, thank you. A 64-ounce soda in five minutes, Cirque. Are you good? I'm impressed. <laughs> I am impressed today. Oh my goodness. So y'all, I want to go on a raid. All right, I want to go say hi. Who are we going to go say hey to today? Who am I going to go say hey to? But I will be back tomorrow night with some Sims. And I really hope you guys will come join me as well. Um... I know I, I want to go. I'm going to go. I know exactly where we're going to go. We're going to take our cooking energy and we're going to go say hi to Molly today. Oh, the literal last second. Oh, Uga, you're totally okay. So I'll be back tomorrow. It is currently like 9.22 p.m. for me. I'll be back tomorrow at like uh, 5 p.m. Central. I hope you guys will join me. We're going to be playing the Sims of the Decades Challenge. And then on Thursday, you guys are not going to want to miss this. We're going to be, um, we're going to be playing the Sims and then also doing trivia. So Sims trivia, put on your best Sims hats. I'm going to find, I'm really good at finding like really weird information. Oh, cheese curd for poutine. Oh, cheese curd poutine is so good. I like it. But um, if you guys are new here, my name's Zephyr and my pronouns are she, her. I invite you to come back. If you're looking for a stream that looks like a hug, this is the best place to be, in my opinion. With us and our fellow beans, um, we laugh, so, so. we cry together, and we laugh about fart jokes and cry over cats. So welcome. Cindy, how the heck are you? Welcome to the Bean Garden. Nice to meet you. Um, but uh, I have Instagram and YouTube, TikTok, Twitter. All that stuff in chat. Thank you, Miss Cassie, for being so wonderful. Right over there. Um, I took a slight like YouTube and like uh, TikTok hiatus, but that stuff will be kind of coming back. Um, in short order here. Fart jokes and cat snuggles. That's us, basically, isn't it? <laughs> um, but I will be back tomorrow night, and I invite you guys to come and check us out again with some Sims and some normal content here, but we love the baking. So if you guys have a sub, um, if you scroll up in chat just a little bit, um, you'll see the weird little like egg guy. That was kind of a joke emote that I made, but it kind of stuck around for April and I kind of love it. Oh, right there. That works too. Right here. That guy. That guy. You got the little eggs. Eggbert. Make sure to copy and paste that. If you guys ha are following, the hand hearts will do. Just do those. And make sure you spam some love and chat for Molly. So she is currently, um, she actually does like Twitch cooking shows for a living. That's like her thing. She's full-time Twitch cook. Her and her husband exceed. They were here a little bit ago. Um, like a few hours ago before they got ready. But they're making tacos al pastor, lamingtons, and yellow cake. So 
I don't know about you guys, but like, I'm ready to go say hi. Oh, we love dad jokes here too, Zerk. <laughs> hi, Cam. How are you? It was really good. It was good to see you. Also, um, Arkantita, good to see you again. I miss you. We have Cindy. Make sure to say hi. But I love you. And Selkit, good to see you. Hi, bye. Aw, thank you, I'm Ghost. It was really good to see you as well. Thank you so much for coming. But I am going to go get a raid here. My keyboard is down here. Hello, keyboard. Woo, I did it. Woo! So, make sure to go spam some love and chat for Molly. Thank you, Cam. I appreciate you. Thank you for the compliment. But let's go spam some love and chat for the lovely Molly. And as I always say, tomorrow's a beautiful day, especially with you in it. And I'm trying to copy and paste the raid message. Oh, there we go. And I'll catch you guys tomorrow. So bye. I miss you guys already.